Hello? Hello. Yes, my friend, go ahead. Are you a Muslim? Hello? Yes, I hear you. You can hear me? I do hear you. Are you a Muslim? Uh, yes, I am. All right. What do you like to say to us? Well, um, first of all, do you remember me? Uh, no, I don't remember you. Should I? Uh, you should, because you know I was the one who called you and tried to give you a 10-word quiz. Ah, uh, 10-word quiz. Ah, uh, you are the quiz guy. Yeah. But all the Muslims, they give me a quiz. Which quiz of them? Uh, the 10-word quiz in Arabic. Ah, uh, you want to give me 10 quiz? Okay, do you like to give it to me or to your prophet Muhammad? Because as I learned, you're a, uh, okay. you're, you're a you prophet, as I learned, now? hold on, as you as I learned, as you no, see, no, we are no. talking you about the prophet who is, it, hold on, as you see, no, we are no, talking about Muhammad being unlearned. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's a simple yes why, or no why, why you are giving me a quiz, um, but you are following okay, a prophet who do not no, know how to write, how no, to read? Right? Why you don't give yes your no. why you don't give your prophet the, yes the same no, quiz? That's all you okay, have to, you know, okay. It. Listen, listen, listen. I agree. No, agree I agree to give you the quiz. You. Are you saying to me I don't speak Arabic? You're going to listen. To are you me. saying I don't you speak Arabic? Are you saying I don't speak Arabic? Not. No, no. I want to know what is the purpose of this quiz. Are you trying I don't speak Arabic? Uh, excuse me. Are you trying to say I don't speak Arabic? No, I'm not trying to say that. So what this quiz for? What this quiz for? But uh, the quiz is uh, to test you whether you know, you know, a uh, classical Arabic. I don't know, uh, my friend. The, I am, the, I am ignorant Abiyah like your. I am ignorant like your prophet. Are you happy now? So, what do you want to say to me? How you can prove to me that you are following a prophet of God? Yet you say that he is ignorant. You do not know how to write, how to read. Uh, nobody said he was ignorant. We well, say that he was unlettered. He, that means what does that mean? We don't. Uh, that means he doesn't know how to write or read. Well, uh, hold on. That's mean your Allah and the Quran did lie. What do you mean? Okay, isn't it the Quran says that Muhammad was ignorant? No, it, it doesn't say that. It says Ummiyin. Okay, what Ummiyin mean? It means uh, unlettered. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Okay, that's you see, one of the words. You see, you are the one yeah. who said that you have Jack knowledge. Okay, but everybody, ignorant. hold on, everybody will be laughing at you in a second. Al yeah, Ummiyin sure. have nothing to do with being illiterate. That because you yourself, you are illiterate. If we go in the Quran right now, and as long as you are asking me to read the classic Arabic, I'll read it for you first in Arabic, and then we go to the to the translation. Women whom Ummiyun la ya'lamun al kitaba illa amani. What I just said, translate. Yes, illa amani. Yes. What I translated. What I said, translate, please. Uh, uh, well, I, I heard the last one except uh, amani. Uh, they're wishful thinking. Hmm. I, but you know, I'm not the one. No, 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 no. Just wait, just wait. You just said to me that your prophet, he is ummi. But the Quran saying that the word is ummi is the one who is ignorant in the book. Yes or no? Unlettered in the book. Thank you. So he is not. He is not illiterate then. He is illiterate in the book, correct? Yes. He okay. He doesn't know how to read or write in the book. Okay. So he will not know the scriptures. Is that correct? How, no. He doesn't know how to read or write in the book. My friend, it says, Which kitab? Yes. Uh, what, what the word kitab mean? He doesn't what? know how to read or write in the book. Hmm. And... Uh, which book? Which book? La, yeah, which book? La, which la, which 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 not which know book? The book? Which book? Wa la, yeah, which, la which book? And which know which the book? book? Which book? Which book? Which book? Which book? Which book? Okay, Muhammad, he do not know what is in the book. Which book? Uh, could you what? Now, could you repeat that that verse again? I, My I friend, it was, it was, it was so you were answering me all this time, and now you are asking me to repeat it again. I'm asking you, which book he did not know how to read? It says, There's a certain book. Which book? Al Kitab, not Kitab. Al Kitab, which means a certain book. Which is which? Which book is that book? Which they do not know it. It's not talk. It's not talking about the uh, uh, Prophet Muhammad. Mm. 
Which verse is that? I mean, okay, uh, okay. <laughs> it doesn't matter. You are the one who said to me that the word for me. Listen, listen. Only to the one who said to me. You are the one. Hold on. We, we cannot talk in the same time. You are the one. You are the one who said to me. You are the one who said to me. The word for me. The word for me. Okay, let me get you busted. Okay, let me let me get you busted. Hold on. Let me get you busted. In the in front of everyone. Everybody, no. okay, no. okay, hold on, hold on. Which verse is speaking about your prophet? Let's, let us uh, uh, let us go to uh, to business right away. Which your verse in the Quran no, say that the prophet remember, is I don't remember me? Which I don't remember which. Okay, I will, I will remind. And there, and there, okay, okay. I don't I, remember uh, which. Shall I help you? Shall I help you? Is that okay? Yeah. Do you want me to help you? Yeah. Okay, sure. Mm. So. If we go here, we will find chapter 62, verse number 2. It says the following. Translate. Uh, which one is that? It looks like you know very much your book. No, uh, well, mm. no, <laughs> not really. I just said... Everybody, everybody heard me. You look like you are very nervous. I just said chapter 62, verse number two. And you said to me, which one is that? Is that because you are nervous? You're not listening. Chapter 62, okay. verse number two. Uh -huh. hmm. Okay. He who um, was raised in Umiyin. Hmm. Okay. Uh, okay. Hmm. So what? Hmm. He is one of them, right? He is he is Ummiyin. He is from the Ummiyin yeah. too, right? Ummiyin, yes. Okay. So he was Does that mean that Muhammad? Okay. Read or write. Okay. So the one. So you are saying to me that Muhammad was sent only to those who do not know how to write, how to read, because the verse saying he was sent no. from amongst the elders. That is not what it says. That's what it says. Everybody, this is your translation. This is your translation. He is from the yes. illiterate. And he of is one of them. The unlettered people. He rose. You uh -huh. know, he he uh, raised uh, a messenger. Okay, but he is so he is one of them. All of them they do not know how to write, how to read. Um, it says among the unlettered. Yes, that's mean that all of them. All my of friend, my friend. He sent them from between the Ummiyin. Don't tell me now you don't speak Arabic. Don't play games. So the verse saying it clearly that Muhammad was sent from a people who they are illiterate, and he is one of yes, them, correct? From people, uh, from people that were Ill illiterate. Okay, illiterate. Yeah, illiterate. Yeah, illiterate. Okay. Illiterate. What kind of religion believe that everybody in Mecca was illiterate? No, it doesn't say that. It says that. It says he was sent from among them. Among who? Those who they are unlearned. Those who were unlettered. <laughs> it doesn't say all of them were unlettered. No, Please. it says that. It says that. It says that. And, think, and, and, and let me show you how the, how, how the hypocrisy work. Then if, if not everyone is illiterate, even though it says the word Ummiyin, so how you assume yourself that Muhammad himself is illiterate himself? Repeat that. I, 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 I didn't get focus, that. Focus, focus. As long as the word is used here is Ummiyin for all of them. And when we say Ummiyin, you say to me, and not everyone is uh, Ummi. Some is Ummi, some is not. So how you assume that Muhammad is the one from the sum who cannot read? Because that verse is talking about him. Okay, but it's talking about him as what? As among those who are unlettered thank you very much but the verse saying he was sent to them those who they are unlearned illiterate thank you so you are saying to me that muhammad is an ignorant was sent yes. to the ignorant only muhammad is not sent for those who know no, it doesn't he was, say he was sent to the ignorant only he was it says he was sent to the unlettered. Okay, so the, un only, the, unliterate, the unliterate, the unliterate means unliterate. ignorant, correct? The unliterate is ignorant, correct? No, unlettered is someone doesn't know how to read or write. Okay, if somebody who do not know how to read, how to write, is he uh, ignorant or not? Uh, not really. The, really? Uh, not necessarily. Really? So why the Quran call him illiterate? <laughs> then, <laughs> because he... my friend, my friend. 
Okay, let me show you how much ignorant you are. You are the illiterate, not, not your prophet only. Let us see. First of all, in the same chapter, chapter 62, verse number 5, it says that the same those who carry a book is the same as someone he is a donkey. Do you agree with this verse? Um, if that's what it says, sure. Okay, so you're a prophet. You just said he did not know how to read, how to write, but he carried the Torah. So you are saying your prophet is the same as a donkey. Uh, repeat that. Okay, you are very slow. You admit it and you agreed that the one who carry a book, he cannot read it. He is the same as an ignorant donkey. And the Quran says that. And then I said to you, well, you're a prophet. He do not know how to read the book, but he carried the book. So he is the same as the Quran described as a donkey. Book? Who said who carried the book? The Quran says that. No, the Quran doesn't say Muhammad carried the book. Anyone, anyone who carried the book, who cannot read it, he cannot understand it. He is the same as a donkey. Read the verse. But Muhammad did not carry any book. <laughs> Didn't he carry the Quran? <laughs> Uh, no, he did not. Carry so what the he, Quran. Was carrying, he was carrying, he was carrying Buddha book. Oh so when Allah was giving him verses, this is the book or this is not the book. Uh, yes, that is the book. Okay, but, so know, he was carrying a book. The so your prophet book. was carrying a book, and even Aisha, and even Aisha, she <laughs> said that. The, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Was Muhammad, my friend, hold on. Physical. Okay, was Muhammad? He never had a physical book in his hand. Never, never. Um, I don't think so. Hmm. What about the Torah? He never, he never, uh, he I never, don't think he it? never carried a book. I, I told you that. Hmm. Okay, let us see. But okay, you know what? Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. What? No, 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 no. Rest. Uh, uh, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I will show you your prophet. He is holding the Torah, taking an oath in the Torah. Do you know that or not? He was what? He hold the Torah. And he swear by the Torah. Yes or no? Uh, yeah, I think there was a, a hut. There is a hadith hmm. says uh, he wasn't holding it, but he was pointing at it. Okay. He put, did he put his hand on it? But you know, it doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, but, why does this matter? How how somebody how you, just said, you just said you just said okay topic. okay you just said you just said. The one who do not know, he have a book, and he cannot read it. And you agree with the Quran is the same as a donkey carrying the book, but he do not understand it. He cannot read it. Your prophet is taking oath. Uh, he put his hand. I, read with me. I read agree with me. With the you're Quran, a prophet. But, you know, you're the, a prophet, the, the, my the friend. You're a prophet. You're a prophet. He asked for the Torah. They placed the Torah in the front of him. He carried it. He put it in the cushion, and then he put his hand on it, and he said. I swear by the one who revealed thee and I believe in thee now the question for you How you swear in a book you cannot read and you say I believe in thee maybe they give him yellow pages Maybe it's not the Torah um, Well, he had people you know, he had people that could read for him my friend you just told me that the prophet did not know and he was sent from between those who do not know suddenly now everybody knows he is sitting between the Jews the Jews he they gave him the Torah according to the story here and he put his hand mm -hmm. in it and he took an oath in it so how he swear by the Torah if he cannot read the Torah how he say I believe in thee without knowing what is inside thee It says, okay, I believed in thee and in, I, okay. Okay. So then with the cushion from beneath and, hmm. and place a Torah on it, I believe in thee and in him who revealed thee. Mm -hmm. Okay. Don't so, you think this is stupid behavior to say, to give you a book, you do not know how to read it. And you say, I believe in thee and the one who sent thee. Maybe they give me a big, a book of Mickey Mouse. How I know what book they gave me? Uh, he had, you know, companions around him that could read. Mm, so you're a prophet. He is the bent and the companion. Yet he say, I believe in thee. But he did not even read thee. They just gave him a book in the front of him. He did not read anything. 
and nobody read for him he just put it there and he plays it and he said i believe in thee which means from cover to cover and now it doesn't say from cover to cover oh, when you say i believe in thee it's mean i believe in thee the what the, the torah <laughs> the what the what the torah so yes the torah with the, the, the torah the torah which they placed the torah which they placed okay which torah which torah which torah hold on which torah be the whole book oh, yes the but whole book yes the torah the torah is the torah okay hold on hold on they place a book in the front of him in the cushion correct uh huh. Okay, he said, I believe in thee, which means whatever that book is saying, he believe in thee, correct? Uh huh. Okay, and then, uh, <laughs> that's me. Uh, that's me. Uh, Muhammad is a false prophet because Muhammad and you Muslim don't agree with the Torah. This is the Torah of the Jews, which you don't agree with Islam. So, how you Muslims, you agree with it? How Muhammad agree with uh, how he say, I believe what's in thee? the grade of that hadith? Could you tell me what the grade? I don't know. What do you think? Maybe Daif. Yeah, so if, it, if it's Daif, then... No, it's not Daif. It's not Daif. Bad the news for it, you. <laughs> it's weak. You can't use it. It's not Daif. It's not Daif. Bad the news then for you. what is it? Listen. Is it Sahih? It is Sahih, yes, this is Abu Sunan of Abi Dawood, and th this is one of the books of Sahah Sitta, six books of authentic, and this is Abi Dawood. So don't play the game. So just because it's from uh, Sunan Abu Dawood, it doesn't mean it's it's authentic. Okay, so you, are, just, so you are saying to me, okay, let me ask you, that will lead us to something, that Islam is not authentic religion. We cannot depend on Islam resource because Islam is full of lies. Is that is that what you are saying? There are lies. Yes, okay, who is the one who made the lies? Who is the one who made the lies? The Muslims? Um, not the Muslims. Who who is who is the one who wrote this hadith? Uh, what? Who is the one who wrote this hadith? Is he a Muslim? Is he Hindu? Is he a Christian? Who is the one who wrote this hadith? I don't know. Read the um the the, the what do you call Abu Abu Dawood is a Muslim or he's a Christian? Yes, Abu Dawood was mm. a Muslim. Mm. And why he write it if it's a lie? Uh, it's not a lie. It's only a lie if it's you know. <laughs> a second ago, you, know, you were trying to play the game. It's a lie. Okay. So it's a lie or it's uh, not a lie. Is it a lie or it's not a lie? Well, there's a gray side of that. Ah, and there is a gray. Islam is a gray. Islam is like a transgender. It's not so, so so. It's not male. It's not female. When they want. They they believe in something when they want they play the game of this is not very much sure of that story So listen, you are trying to play a game and we will play it with you Let us play this game me and you you said you call me to give me a quiz I'm giving you the quiz now how you as a Muslim you will know that this story is accurate or not Look at the chains, okay in the chain it says Hassan Okay, so it's Hassan Thank it's you very authentic. much. So you cannot so say that means that mean it's authentic. It's not authentic. It's it is authentic. Hassan, do you know what Hassan means? You speak Arabic? What? What Hassan mean? It means good. Good. Thank you very much. The hadith guys is good. He is saying it's not authentic, even though it says they're good, according yes. to him, it's not good. <laughs> You're confusing your audience. We have your grades here, my friend. Yes, the grade is good. The grade, the grade is good. The grade is good. You just said that, so the grade is good, but the hadith is bad. No, no. So that's if not you what go I to said. if you go to a quiz, if the teacher he give you a quiz and then he give you the grade of good, that's mean you fail or you pass. You pass. You pass. So, 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 stop playing not, games. This hadith exactly. pass. This hadith no. pass. It is good, and it's not daif, and it's, it's not rejected, grade, and it's not maktua, and it's not marfua, and it's not clean. So, listen, or listen, or listen, 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 listen. Now, do your prophet in you the book or not? Well, what? What the, the, the prophet do your what? prophet knew the book or not the Torah? Uh, of course, he knew the book. How he knew he it, did not know how to read how he knew it, right? How he knew it, book. how he knew it. What, how uh, he of knew course it. God told, told, told him, okay, told him God what who revealed to him, told him what, what, 
told him what? Okay, show me where. Okay, show me in the Quran the Torah. If Allah told him the Torah, then the Torah should be in the Quran too. What is the Torah in the Quran? The whole Quran is the Torah. The whole Quran the whole is the Quran Torah. Is, Why? Is the okay. Angel. Okay. The whole the, Quran the, is the, all the okay. Hold on. 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 Okay. Okay. The, guys, the whole Quran is a Torah. The whole Quran is a Torah. Mm -hmm. uh, that's mean. That's that's mean. Muhammad is a liar because Muhammad he says he did not bring the Torah. He is confirming the Torah. Yes, confirming the Torah. So yes, how he confirm means... it, but yet he do not have it. It says confirming what is with them, not is with him. Uh, it says, but uh, this um, where where does it say that? Mm -hmm. No, you do not know. Chapter two, verse number eighty nine. Uh, by the way, why does this matter? We're not talking about the topic. No, we, this is the topic. We are talking about Muhammad in the Bible, and now we find that Muhammad is ignorant in the Bible. He is ignorant in Islam. He cannot even read or write, and he is ignorant like you. Now, don't change the topic. You are you are in the corner. How Muhammad do no, not know? How Muhammad do not know how to read, how to write? Listen, listen, listen. How Muhammad do not know how to read, how to write? He is confirming what is with them. Uh, okay, when they're and where they're and when they're confirming, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cough, cough, yeah, cough. That, so. will <laughs> that will help, brother. Don't forget to say Alhamdulillah. So, so <laughs> confirming what is with them, yes. yes. How he confirm what, what is, is with them, them if he do not know what to, how to read what is with them? He doesn't have to read. What do you, you mean? Know, you know it is he who comes. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. He do not need to read, but he confirm what is with them. How stupid is that? I mean, you give me a book, you say I do not know how to read it. I'm going to confirm it that this is true. I mean, this is a crazy. How he confirm a book? He cannot read it. This is how. Let me tell you. Uh huh. Tell me how. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Confirming doesn't that. Uh, when he was going to confirm it, mm -hmm. it, it means that uh, whatever uh, the Quran says, if the Bible or the Old Testament or the Old, the New Testament that they have with them, if those agree with the Quran, that means the Quran is, what the verse is saying? confirming. Is it, all that. of this is coming in this verse. All, all what you just said to me in this verse, no, it says, and when there come to them the book from Allah confirming what is with them, not with the agree with what agree with the, where will you get this from? Yeah, confirming whatever the Quran, uh, whatever, whatever <laughs> the, the Bible agrees with the Quran, you know, that is with them. My friend, the book so, is saying the so verse in the front Quran of you, the, ver the verse in the front of them. you is not saying the Bible agree with the Quran, it's saying the opposite. It's saying the Quran agree with the Bible, which means whatever is there, he is confirming. It's the opposite. So whatever is there, he is confirming it. So Muhammad did not know how no, to read, no, how no, to no, write. Not, not whatever is there, it, it, uh, the Quran is confirming. Hmm. Confirming one. Mm. Confirming by repeating what should be in that. Where, book. where do you get this from? By repeating. Where do you get this from? By that verse. Where it says that. It's just confirming, confirming what is with them. Confirming what is that what, what is with them. Okay. So when I say I confirm, confirm what is with you. Okay. Something. What is with the See, Jews? If, okay, let me ask if you. I repeat uh, so, something so, uh, okay. that is from another okay. book. All right, all right. All right, all right, all right. Do the Quran agree with the book of the Christian and the book of the Jews? What? Do the Quran agree with the book of the Christians and the book of the Jews? Uh some of the parts like what some parts like yes. what like what what like uh there is only one god mm -hmm. the quran says there's only one god yes it uh, does as i know the quran says there's many gods no it doesn't okay the bible let me ask you does. okay hold on hold on the bible says there's many gods show me a verse i i i don't 
I can't get it from the top of my head. Okay, I let me show you my verse up. then. You cannot show me your verse. You are lying. I can show you my verse. Here we go. Chapter 37, verse number 125 says that Again, Allah, we're not Allah, Allah, about the Allah, here. Allah, and Baal, both of them, they are creators. Do you agree with that? We're not talking about that. So why Allah, if Allah is the only God, how Baal is a creator in the Quran? Uh, see, it says creator, mm. not God. Creators. Well, God is a creator. Who is the only creator? Do we have many creators or we have only creators? In Christianity, we have only one creator. In Christianity, we have only one creator. In Islam, you have many creators. In Islam, you have one creator or many creators. We have many creators. Really? Who, who named them for me? But I'll start with Baal. Who is next? Uh, let's start with the TV. Okay, if uh -huh. you watch TV, you can uh -huh. say. Ah, uh -huh. no, my friend, here. my friend. No, 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 no. Stop, stop, stop lying. In the religion, mean when we say Creator is the one who give life. Do you agree? Uh, no. Okay, let me shut you up. Then the Quran will shut you up, not me. The Quran says that, not me. So you just say the Quran is a lie. Thank you very much. Here we go. What this is the Quran. Mean? Hold up. When when masters they speak, kids this they, they, they shut up. You just said no. You are accusing your God that He is a liar. Chapter twenty-two, verse number thirty-seven. Read the verse for me. Uh, show it to me. Chapter it's in the screen. <laughs> cough, cough, yeah, cough. That will help. <clears throat> What I can't help it. I know. Does okay. it say that the one who is creating a fly is worthy of worship? And that is the creator? Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. oh, man, so why are you okay. lying and saying creating a TV? Creating a TV is making a TV, not a creating. No, 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 no. I'm not talking about making the TV. You need to watch it. I mean, it. you can... Uh, there are... <laughs> ads coming uh, uh coming uh there are ads on the tv that's uh that goes like you know from the creators of this movie say creators so when we when we say allah is a creator that means he is a producer in hollywood <laughs> no that's one of the that's one of the creator. But Allah cannot Allah make any movie. One of the meaning but Allah cannot of make any movie. Allah cannot make a movie prove it. Can he make a movie? Of course he can create a movie. Like what? Like what? Which movie? Uh the one about the flying carpet of Solomon? The one about the flying carpet of Solomon? God never did create a movie. Okay, so but what what does have to do with what we are talking about the creator? When Allah he says he is the best of the creator. He is comparing himself to a movie creators or he is comparing himself to, to real creators? The creators. Huh? To all the creators. Okay, Allah is the best of the creators, correct? Yes. Okay, let me ask you. Do you compare yourself to a donkey? No. Okay, why? Why would I compare myself to a donkey? Give me the reason. Give me the scientific reason. Because donkey is not a human, correct? We compare a human, compare himself to a human, correct? We should compare uh, donkey to donkey. Human to human, monkey to monkey. Not always. Okay. Not always. So Can't are you saying to me, okay, let us say, let us say a donkey, a donkey. He, okay, let us say a donkey, he made something in his mouth and he played volleyball with it. Is that will make the donkey creator like Allah? Uh, what did you say again? I'm sorry. Let us say this animal, the donkey, he created something, you know, he put something, some grass in his mouth and he make it like a ball and then he start, start playing with it, which has looked like a ball. So now he created a ball. Is he creator like Allah now? Of course not, but that is. Okay, so Allah what? compare himself to who? Do he compare himself to someone is no one or he compares to himself to someone he is a creator like him? He is comparing himself to any creator that is. Who is a creator is. beside Allah? You just said he is comparing himself to any creators. That means there's many creators. Yes, there are. I just told you the creators of movies. And you just said 
Movie is not no, what, what the creator of movie. My, my friend, you are fooling who here is speaking about Baal. Baal is the one who people believe that he is the one who fertilized the, the women, he gave her babies. So, Baal is a creator, Allah is a creator, but Allah is the no. best of the creators. No, it doesn't say Baal was the creator, it says that. Because when you no, say when you say no 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 listen listen Baal, okay when you say when Hebrew. you say why you are Does calling Baal, listen 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 Hebrew okay okay hold, hold on hold on it says why you are praying for Baal right when Allah is the best of the creators which means Baal is a creator but Allah is better no it doesn't doesn't mean that mm, mean, it doesn't mean, mean what that. okay let me ask you if, if there is anyone he created creatures beside Allah uh creation no creatures no. no but there are creators of other things mm. are you sure from that uh-huh are you sure I just i just told you you know creators okay. of so movies the one who create a living being is he god yes okay that is jesus my friend the quran says that jesus created from the bird from the mud a bird okay where that does mean it jesus that? is a god according to what you just said you said a human being my friend Jesus created a bean a crea no a bean a bean i said a bean with blood with oh, flesh it doesn't matter okay. it doesn't oh, matter yeah yeah, yeah. The, uh, okay. a living being mm -hmm. bean so he created a bean a creation a living being so a jesus being, he yeah. created from the mud the bird how jesus can do that we're not talking about the topic this is the topic no, the topic is Prophet Muhammad was fa found in the Bible. Okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, Muhammad was found in the Bible. Go ahead. What do you want to say to us? Go ahead. <laughs> there we go. I don't know. I, I mean, never mind. Uh, okay, sure. Uh, do you want to finish that one first? My friend, finish whatever you want. You are, you, you are the boss. I'm listening. I'm learning from you. Go ahead. What do you want to say? Okay, well, hmm. I think that Muhammad is mentioned in the uh well he was mentioned directly in the um in the original uh revelations of god mm. in the original previous revelations of god right, right. maybe not so direct anymore because mm. of our islamic uh, position that mm. uh the bible has been corrupted mm. so is the bible but corrupted are, is the bible corrupted uh, that's the Islamic position. Yes. Where, 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 how you can confirm that to me? Oh my God! So we're talking about the corruption of the Bible now. No, but uh, you know, you just mentioned that the Bible is corrupt, and I'm a Christian. I'm really concerned about that. So when you say something, you have to prove it. The Quran. I just showed you actually. The Quran confirm what is with them. What is with them? How it is? What is with them is confirmed. And Muhammad, he he took an oath in what is with them, and yet it is corrupt. That's mean Muhammad is a fraud. Because if I take an oath on a book which is with them, and now I'm talking about a physical book, they give it to me, they put it in the in, in the in the cushion. I put my hand on it and I say, I believe in thee and the one who sent thee. And yet the Islamic position that this is a book which is corrupted book. That's mean Muhammad is a fraud. No, he said he believed in the book. Yes, the book, but the, but you are saying the book is corrupted. I said, uh, uh, yeah, the book is corrupted. But, but he's, he did, when he said the book, it doesn't mean the whole book. It means the book friend, of God. Which I said, he said, I, you, God, okay, you just said, you just said, book, you just said, he said, I believe in the book. You just said that a second ago. Mean so the whole book. he believed. No, they mean the whole book. The whole book is in the front of him. They did not give him a page. He gave him the book. He said, "I believe in thee." He did not say, "I believe in this verse." He did not say, "I believe in this line." He didn't say, "I believe in this page." He said, "I believe in thee," and he cannot even read it. The whole book he cannot read. He says, "I believe in thee." It's a very clear sign that your prophet is willing to take an oath in anything, even we give him a zucchini. That's it. Muhammad okay. is a fraud. Because the fraud is a bankrupt. He's trying to make the Jews believe that he's a Jew like them. So he said, I believe in thee. But you are saying to me that Islamic position believe that thee is corrupted. So Muhammad believe in the corrupted book of the, of the, of the Torah. And yet he swear by it. That means Muhammad is nothing but a fraud. Okay. You done? Don't you want don't when you wanna, he said don't you wanna cough? when he said, I believed in thee. Hmm. When he said, I believe in thee, it means 
he he meant the book and by book he meant the torah and by torah whatever that is torah in that book he said he believed in them thank but you he, but this is the is. Only, but this is the book the, the jews have since then until now uh not quite really no we we have <laughs> we have no evidence that could point okay to let me ask you let me ask you let, let me ask you let me ask you in the time of muhammad do the jews believe that there's a guy his name is Uzziah, yeah, we're is a not son of... talking about the, the, the okay title, so the... how he believed in that book he knew that the jews the... Hold, on, hold on hold on how he knew that the jews believe in a guy his name now. is Uzair. He is the son of Allah, as the Quran says in chapter 9, verse number 30. Yet Muhammad, he says, I believe in thee. This is what is in the, in the book, according to Muhammad. See, that, that's why I said, he said he believed in thee. Thee means book, book means Torah. Torah means whatever that is. Torah in that book. Right. And that Torah is saying, according to the Quran, that Uzair is the son of Allah. <laughs> <laughs> don't you want to cough? No, I don't want to cough. I that mean, cough, you need it. I don't feel like coughing right now. Oh, okay, I you might, can cough later. Might, you can save it for later. So, by the way, where is that? Yeah. Where is Uzair? Oh, is the oh, son oh, of cough Allah? Is coming. <laughs> <laughs> where is Uzair? Is son of Allah? Where we can find this guy Uzair in the Bible? Do you know? Uh, no, I don't. It's not exist. It's a lie. What do you think? Uh, mm, I, you can't say that. Would well, you have to prove it? Then show I mean, me, show me the uh, Jew. Show me one Jew. Show, show me one Jewish in the whole universe believe in a guy. His name is Uzair, and he is a son of Allah. Can you? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Coffee. Yeah. Good. There's so coughing now. Okay. Mm. Never mind. Okay. Mm. Um. Uh, anyway, yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. We have to remember that the Quran is. An eyewitness of mm. the seventh century Medina and Mecca. Mm. Eight. The Quran is an eyewitness. Yes, it, it it is an eyewitness of seventh century Medina and Mecca. But, and what, but why the Quran in that was the Quran written uh, in the seventh in century? Those places was the Quran written in the seventh century? Uh, it was not uh, written. Mm. Uh, yes, it was actually by yes, who? It was. By who? by Muhammad's companions Muhammad companion which is their name who is the one who wrote the Quran I, I don't I don't remember you know all of their names okay I think it's time to cough now <laughs> listen as long as the Quran is written by the companion of the Prophet is the Quran corrupted the like same as the Torah or not uh, no, the Quran is not corrupted okay. because the Quran you, okay. Okay. The, main method of transmission is not uh, is written true? in written form, but mm. in oral. Is it oral. true? Is it true that the Jews they send the goat? She was working for the Mossad and she ate the Quran. Yeah, sure. Why not? Okay, so how you say to me it was not written and written by the companion, but the Prophet he have the Quran under his pillow. <laughs> Cough, cough, yeah. Yeah, uh, say there, it again. There is Quran under the pillow of the Prophet, and the goat ate it. Yeah, okay. Okay. Why the goat ate the Quran, and Allah did not stop the goat? Why would God stop a goat from eating anything? Okay, isn't it Allah? He said He protect the Quran. Yes, it okay. doesn't mean that book that uh, the, the goat ate. Okay, but the goat ate the chapters of a breastfeeding and uh, stoning to death. Can you recite for me the chapter of a stoning uh, of uh, breastfeeding for adult 10 times? Uh, no, I can't. Why? Because the goat ate it. Uh, no. Do you like to cough? No, I would not like to cough. Okay, Thank but you. then you have to give me an answer because the goat ate the verse and now we don't have the verses in the Quran. So where is the verses? No, there was no verse like that. What do you mean? The verse in the front of you, it says the verse of stoning and the breast feeding for adult 10 times. You're a prophet. He taught Muslim women. They have to give their nipples to a stranger to suckle it 10 different days until they are satisfied. And this was a verses in the Quran. We're talking about 
diff many different topics at one time what here. What different topic? Here we I'm go. It's in the front of you. Uh, no, listen, you can cough if you want, but you have to answer. Okay, listen, now. does it say in the front of your eyes, the verses of stoning and the breastfeeding for an adult, 10 times was revealed. Does it say that or I'm making things up? Yes, it does say that. Okay, so what are they? But, where are I'm losing interest. Can I hang up now? Where are they? Can I hang up now? Why do you want to hang up? You can cough, but continue. Okay, I'll hang up now. Why do you want to hang up? Because we're not talking about the topic. But okay, but you just said to me the Torah is corrupt, but the fact the most corrupt book is the Quran. Even your God could not stop a little goat. It's man, man. He could not stop a goat. You can cough if you want, but you have to answer me. Uh, why don't we just um, agree to disagree here? Oh, we agree. No, I agree to agree with you. I agree with you that Muhammad is a fraud. He's illiterate. There's no way Muhammad is a prophet of God and the proof look at those stories I mean he says to us in the Quran that Allah will protect the book Not only that it says that it, it is on Allah to collect the book But the Allah did never collect the book which means proving Muhammad is a false But in the top of that we find that Allah could not even stop a little tiny goat Why would he stop at goat? I, I don't because understand this is his why would God want, my friend, to, do, my want friend, to do that? Okay, is it the, I asked you, did Allah promise to protect the book? Correct, you said yes. Correct? Uh huh, yeah. Okay, so how he did not uh, stop the goat? Um, because, you know, why would he? Tell me why would he? Because he promised to protect the book. This is his book. Uh, the the book is not a physical book. You got to understand that, man. She. What do you mean that the physical? It's a paper. You see, it's a. It, it, she did the the goat. She did eat a physical book. It's in the front of you, my friend. Mm. What not physical book? Yeah, I'm farting. <laughs> LOL. You are what farting now? That? Okay. No, that's <laughs> that's Islamic. By the way, the Prophet he says if you fart, if you don't hear it and you don't smell it, you can continue praying to Allah. So what do you think? Okay. What you will do now? Hmm. See, I am losing interest. I'm making you know fart noises. Uh yeah, because because now are you showing respect to Allah because we are showing your prophet words? No, because you're not talking about the topic. Mm, so, like, if somebody change, uh, they're not talking about the topic, you're like usually in your family you fart it. Uh, Is that what, what your parents they taught you? You fart if you don't like the topic. Uh, yeah, why not? Uh, okay. Did your prophet fart if he did not like the topic too? No, I don't. Th I don't know. I don't think so. Oh, uh, okay. Well, anyway, my friend, if you ever see this goat. Uh, you know, mm -hmm. let us know because it's still wanted. And we're trying to find. <laughs> okay. Her. Oh, you can't. Might be now. dead now. Mm. So what we will do now? As long as you don't like the topic, what we will do? Uh, <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> Take care, my friend. Take care. Next time, get ready before you call me. Okay. Just uh, try take some medicine and some stuff, so that will help you to be stronger. Eat better food. You know, change your diet. Camel urine is not helping. Take care. Who's next? <coughs> mm. This is Islam. Hmm? This is the religion, blah, 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 protected, the Torah is corrupt, the prophet is a prophet, the prophet cannot be a prophet. First, where is the prophecy of the prophet? Uh, this guy who was calling me, he can call me back, by the way. Uh, uh, but if you want, you can call me back and show me the prophecy of the prophet. Because in order to find Muhammad in the Quran, I mean, I, uh, as a prophet, <laughs> he has to be a prophet first. <laughs> Who is the Muslim when I prove to me that Muhammad was a prophet? So we can talk about him in the Bible. Because you are saying to me, Muhammad is a prophesied in the Bible. As what? As a prophet. But shouldn't be he first a prophet? He's not. 
We have another Muslim. He wanna <coughs> speak to us. <coughs> I just texted him. I hope he will receive it and call us back. Who is a Muslim would like to call us and tell us how Muhammad is a prophet? What is the proof Muhammad is a prophet? <coughs> Yes, hello. Yes, Mr. Ali, how are you? I'm fine, thanks. How are you? I'm fine. You are live on air, and uh, we were saying Muslim, they say Muhammad is in the Bible as a prophet, but shouldn't you prove to me first that he is a prophet? What do you think? Um, yes, of course. If someone claims to be a prophet, he first needs to fulfill the things that okay. the prophet well, how, how Muhammad became a prophet? Give me a reason to believe Muhammad is a prophet. Go ahead, I'm listening. Um, for me, in my opinion, a prophet is somebody who claims he has a message from God and just he a claim, convinces I mean, I people claim, with this message. And I can claim that too. I mean, if somebody just a claim, I mean, anyone can claim. There's many people they claim to be these days, even these days now, they claim to be prophets. Yes, of course, you're right. But I mean, and the message of God is usually different from those of, I, I mean, if like a prophet what? says like something, a usually different from that, what people what about, say, right? What about a guy? He ad ad advised the followers the, the females to give their breast to a stranger and they should suck it ten different time. Is that from God? Um, of course, in my opinion, um, I heard um, this before that you mentioned this. I watched almost all of your videos. That's why I know most of the things that you said. Um, but for me, in my opinion, it's not. I just want to uh, mention that I'm a Shia Muslim. I'm not a Sunni Muslim. Oh, you are a Shia um, Muslim. That's even better, my friend. So let us talk about Shia. Yeah. Are you well, yeah, I would like to. are you very well versed in the Shia books or you are so so? Um very well versed. Like I'm not an Arab, first of all, I'm Iranian. So you are welcome, my friend. I I like Iranian yeah. people, I respect them a lot. Welcome, yeah. welcome, my friend. So you Thank are you. the Shia, yeah. right? Okay. And the books of the Shia uh, have more horrible stories than the Sunni books, uh, as an example. You know the book is called Tafsiru uh, Majma uh, Al-Bayan? Yes, yes, I've heard of it. All right. Uh, it says there that one of the messenger of Allah miracles that when he do uh, uh, excuse my language, when he do poo-poo, the okay. earth will open and will eat his poo-poo. And his pee smell like perfume. Mm. Mm. Okay. What, um, what do you but think about I'm that? not quite sure. Like in, uh, um, I tried to search for this answer, but I mean, do Shia Muslims have also things which is called Sahih and Daif and all this stuff? Yeah, but this is Sahih. Because this yeah, is because their, usually this I, is see, their best uh, I see most of like in the Shia Islam is like when we hear something from the family of the Prophet, we usually accept it no matter what it says. So. Mm -hmm. Um, obviously, if I hear something like this, it sounds very funny and stupid to me. Hmm. Um, okay, so how you as a Shia, you can verify for me that Muhammad was a prophet? Um, as I said before, for me, in my opinion, it's because of the message that, that he basically gave. Um, the message for like, what? like all mankind. Like what? That Give me one. Give me one thing fit to be good for all mankind. Like what? Killing each other? No. Okay, uh, but Muhammad he says other, but Muhammad yes. he says that he have to kill all the Christians, all the Jews in the Quran. Yes or no? Um, like my opinion, it's more about in the context of this. I would when no, he said my this. My friend, the verse is so clear. Read it. Uh, you know, you know how to read English. Yes, yes, I know. All right. I'm so in chapter nine, it says verse number twenty-nine: Fight those who don't believe in Allah. As simple as that. Not those who fight you. No, fight those who don't believe in Allah from the Christian and the Jews. Until they pay the jizya, okay. fight them, so, which means fight um, maybe, to um, kill, fight to kill. About those Christian and those Jews, which um, you know, uh, Allah expect them to fight the Muslims one day. Uh -huh. Okay. But maybe Allah fighting. knows that these people will see, one day the one, become strong. It is, it is Muhammad is the one who attacked them. What the Muslim expecting them to fight them one day? I mean, this is uh, this is funny. He just said, "Fight those who don't believe in Allah, nor by Muhammad, nor by the religion of the truth, which means supposed to Islam." Until either they convert or they pay it's a gang mentality. So why if I pay you you let me live You don't care yeah. if I believe or not if I pay you I can stay as a Christian and yes. Okay, I will worship Jesus as God. So why Muhammad is concerned about me paying him 
and I will mm -hmm. stay alive. Is that because he's a gang leader? Mm, because maybe he thought like if some because there would be some people because they're afraid they would say yeah okay I will convert to Islam mm. because maybe he knew that he implemented this rule because he was also a state so you are saying he is the one who implemented this rule not Allah um, yeah but it's not hard to answer for me because I think what he did was through like okay, can you read for me and can you read for me the verse before it verse number twenty eight. Um, uh, yes, can you scroll a bit up? It's yeah, still on twenty in front of you. Um, in the first twenty-eight. Yeah, verse number twenty-eight. Okay, no. Yes. Hmm. Yeah. O oh, ye who believe, truly the pagans are unclean. So let them not, after this year of theirs, approach the sacred mosque. And if you fear poverty, soon will Allah enrich you. If He wills. How oh, Allah? Which is bounty for Allah? <laughs> is Allah all knowing? Okay. Our words. And if you fear poverty, you know what does that mean, right? You will get poor. Yes, okay. Yes. What is the solution? Attack the Christian and force them to pages. Yeah, do you see it? So it was about money. Yes. Mm -hmm. So Muhammad is not ordering to do jihad for the sake of Allah. He's ordering to do jihad to steal the money of the Christian and take them as bounty and take their money so he the Muslims they will not be poor. So it was not a solution to spread Islam, it was a solution to enrich you. That is a gang leader, my friend. Yeah. And the verse in the front of you, this is the Quran. Yes, and so what does the scholar say about this? I don't this care what the scholar, you can like tell me you are a Shia, you know, you can open in Shia, but it's, it's it's obvious. Isn't it obvious? You are a smart yeah, person, yeah. you are, you're, you know, you're an adult. You can tell, okay, here we go. Now we forbid the, 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 the uh, pagans from entering the Mecca. So now no business, trade business will be gone. We kill the, the Jews run away, the Christian run away. And now we will not have money. So he said, okay, don't worry. Allah will enrich you go attack the Christians attack the Jews and take their money so it was not for God it was for filling their belly with the chickens and cheese kebab okay so um, now I have a, okay yeah, yeah I understand your point in this and I'm, I'm quite not sure what to answer about this but I want to say so why did mom uh, mom just mentioned the Christian and the Jews I mean on the world there were many other people right so thank you why this didn't additional you proof that the Muhammad the is a Buddhist false prophet because he's a false prophet around him there's nobody except those so so he said the Christian and the Jews he never mentioned the Hindus he never mentioned the Buddha he never heard of them secondly in different verse on the Quran just to show you how hypocrite Muhammad is in the beginning because now he do not need to reach the the Arab following him things was fine so he said the Christians and the Jews will go to heaven is that correct yes okay how those who they will go to heaven now today we will kill them how that it change yesterday they will go to heaven today go and fight them and kill them and take their women and take their money how that can it can be true yeah it can't be true I mean right how, how this sounds now it's like Mm. Yeah, it, it sounds like when he was weak, obviously he wanted to say this and right. So when he became strong, so when he, he was weak. This. Thank you very much. When he was weak, he was a hypocrite, and then he got stronger. Now he do not need them. Okay, kill them all and take their money. Correct. But I mean, what would be the other solution? I mean, if a prophet comes and from the beginning, no, he has a many prophet opponents. of God, my friend, a prophet of God, he stands to the truth, not to the money and the business. What solution? I mean, if God is with me, who could be against me? What will happen? I would die from hunger. Jesus died in the cross. So what is worse can be happening? He, still, he did not say go and kill them. Still, he did not say, okay, go and kill every Jew. He's in the cross. He said, Father, forgive them. They do not know what they are doing. So he will mm -hmm. go. He's in the cross. And he should be now cursing them, should be angry from them. I mean, what more is than putting nails in your in your hands, putting nails in your feet, uh, shoot, shooting you with the arrow, making you die slowly in the cross, crucified. This is what crucifixion is about, torture. They are torturing him alive. And yet he is thinking about how to save them. While Muhammad, you are saying yes. to me, it was a solution, and the solution is what to reach their belly. If they are truly believers, well, isn't it believing is about okay? Grow your goat, live in the desert as before, pray to Allah, have, live in peace. You do not need to attack the neighbors and take their women. Correct? Yes, that's correct. Okay. I understand this, but I might but. I, I struggle with this topic for a long time now. I mean, I watch almost all of the debates and I just can't understand why. I mean, all of my friends are Muslims, basically, my family and everyone I know. I mean, on the world, there are so many Muslims who who should know all this stuff. But I mean, why? There's, there, there, has, there has to be something why the Muslims 
still are not most of them are not bad people, right? I mean, if this see, is the doctrine see, of the religion, see, I, I, yeah, if this is friend, the main part friend. of the religion, how is that possible? Ali, 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 I do not know you, you do not know me, correct? And I am assuming yes, you are a good person. This is not yes. about me and you, my friend. This is about belief. So, and belief will have an impact on you. So now, if Ali really believe in this, he is going to come and kill me. Belief can change you. Belief can make you either bad or good. So, we have Muslims who they are Muslims by name. I, I just came from Europe. I went to Germany. Okay. I went to uh, many, many countries. And I saw how Muslim girls wearing jeans, putting makeup. I mean, they are Muslims, but Muslim by name. Muslim men wearing a bracelet and, you know, uh, wearing jeans and uh, they are not practicing Islam and nobody is praying and nobody listening to music blah 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 so Muslims are people like everybody but not everybody knows what his religion is the second you are a person who knows Islam very well there's one of two things either you will become like Isis or you will leave so you want to say that uh, like 99 percent of the muslims basically are not you don't know you know nothing you yourself and know with my respect to you you know nothing about islam yeah mostly that's okay. true because i can't go through it either, okay so, so I mean, you as a muslim like just, you know, you, or what you know you yeah. know a little bit about islam like uh, islam teaches you to believe in one god there's a prophet his name is muhammad we have to pray five times blah 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 and then we as a shia we yeah. beat ourselves for uh, al Hussein, al Hassan. they kill them blah 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 yeah. blah we cry for them and this is madness this is that you know but a human being is looking for refuge always and he seek refuge sometime either in something smart or something stupid like the ostrich the ostrich is a bird when he's when she when this yeah. bird see the uh, the fox or the wolf coming she bury her head under the sand thinking that he do not see her but she is the only one don't see him and this is okay. what the Muslims do they bury their head yes. under the sand and they say okay Muhammad is a prophet the Christian Christian prince is lying he's not telling the truth but it's in the front of you Okay, but I mean, simply like um, you know that the Shia, like the Shia, believe that um, the family of the Prophet, um, most of them, like twelve of them, got the like they got killed basically for spreading the Islam My friend, against the Sunni the, Muslims. The family That's why of the Prophet, so the Shia, Ali and Muslim. his children, they are more criminal than Muhammad himself. Ali, he burned people alive. What Ali? The Muslim, the Shia, and you know that the Shia are proud about how many people Ali killed. Correct. Yes. Okay, yes. so how do you talk about this guy? Yes. I mean, we are talking about what? We're talking about people serving God or about criminals? So we, our, our, our best man is, a, is an official butcher. He burned mm -hmm. people alive. And then we are proud about him. And not only that, the, the Shia have tons of stories. Like yesterday, we were talking about the Ask Ali uh, about uh, uh, things nobody know. A, mo a Christian monk, I mean, I never saw people, with my respect to you, I'm not trying to insult you, but mm -hmm. Shia books is amazingly crazy. Just yesterday, we were uh, uh, showing people what the Shia say, that there's a Christian monk. He came to Ali and he asked him a question and he said to him, uh, 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 the, I will ask you about something. Nobody knows except mm -hmm. one person. And who is that person? Ali, for sure. And he asked him, what is the ladybug? The ladybug, according to Ali, is a woman. She, uh, uh, I forgot she was. She was what? Uh, she did uh, witchcraft, I think. <laughs> to, to her husband. <laughs> and the bear, he was, oh. he, he was a homo. <laughs> let me, oh, let me, let me put it on the screen. Hold on. Let me, let me find it again. Uh, <laughs> Let mm -hmm. me put it in the screen so you can read with me. You don't know Arabic, right? No, I certainly don't. Yeah, know. okay. Uh, let us see. Uh, I will try. Here we go. Okay, I will open. Uh, I will. I will use Google Translation. Uh, mm -hmm. Because the the it's in Arabic, as you know, everything. In Arabic. We can do it in German. I, I know German. I don't know. Words. Okay, well, but I, but I will not be able to read then. Then you have to read for me. Uh, okay, <laughs> <no>. <laughs> you know, because the only German I know is Ach I don't know what does that mean. Don't ask me. <laughs> All right. So well, here yeah. it says, let us uh, let us uh, use Google Translation. But you know English, so we can use English, right? I mean, it's this uh, is this is for sure. Uh, translate to English. <clears throat> 
All right. Here you will see they are saying they are, uh, this guy, this monk, supposedly he asked Ali about things nobody knows except one person only, and that is Ali. He want to be sure that this is the guy. So uh, he asked him. Uh, he said, uh, "I want you to tell me about those animals. There's 24 animals. Allah he cursed, or let us say, uh, uh, 24 kind of uh, uh, human. Uh, Allah cursed them and make them into animals." He started with the okay. elephant. He asked him, what is the elephant? What he was? He said, Ali. Ali is talking now. Mm -hmm. As for the elephant, there was a man who come to the beast. He do sex with the beast, with animals. So Allah curse him and make him elephant. <laughs> and then uh, uh, about the rabbit, the rabbit was a woman who did not do, have, does not wash after masturbation. <laughs> so Allah make her a rabbit. As for the bear, he he was a, a feminine man. He was a homo. So Allah make him a bear. As for the scorpion, he was a man with two. Uh, uh, translation here is coming weird. Uh, as for the spider, let me go to the Arabic, the original Arabic. Uh, he was a person who speak about people in their in their back. You know, like he he, he gossip. You know? Yes. As for mm -hmm. the pigs, the pig, the pigs, there were seven hundred men who ate on the table of Asa, <laughs> and yeah, after they Jesus. ate in his table yeah. for forty days, they did not believe. <laughs> this is a good one, no? <laughs> oh so they ate in the so, table of Asa for forty days, and because they did mm -hmm. not, and they are seven hundred. I mean, how big the table of Asa, my friend? <laughs> This is bigger than all McDonald's and Germany together. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. So, and, and then he says, as for the monkeys, they were 500 men of the Jews who walked in the Sabbath. You see what happened if you walk in the Sabbath? <laughs> this is supposedly happened. Like This is Ali happened. talking. Are you kidding me? Don't say that to the, your Shia. Your family will kill you if you say this not happened. Don't make fun of it. Be careful. Be careful. This is Ali, my friend. Ali, Ali is talking. As for the spider, it was a woman which witches her husband. <laughs> she do a witchcraft to her husband. This is what the spider it sounds so like. It, it was a female. Movie. Yeah. No. And then as for the turtle, even the turtle, man, as for the turtle, it was a man who, uh, 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 well, the translation here is very weird. Uh, the turtle, uh, hold on. <clears throat> Where is the turtle? Yeah, uh, he used to like play with the scale. Like when you buy tomato, you buy one kilogram. He like he steal one of them. You know what I mean? So he is not uh, decent in his business. So Allah made him a turtle. As for the lamb, it was a man who dig the graves to take the coffin of people from <laughs> after they die. He steal the he steal the clothes of the dead one. As for the ladybug, women. She was a woman. Uh, who called her daughter-in-law husband to her bed and actually look at here I mean Ali must be must be right because La lady bug even in English her name is lady <laughs> no, <man. laughs> but um CP, I know um these stories I mean there are tons of that could be lies as well I mean these are not the essence of the religion right I mean my friend what what what, what about this, the Quran the Quran is the most stupid book ever have you ever, as an example, read chapter 18? I don't remember by heart, but if I see it, maybe I remember. Chapter 18, read it, and you will leave Islam. It is mm. the most stupid ever you can come with. I mean, the one who came with the chapter 18, either he's taking too much hashish, or he's drink, drinking mineral water oh, every yeah, day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look at this. Uh, 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 all the stories with his fiction stories, Muhammad, he took it, he put it in the Quran. The Seven Sleepers, it's a fiction story written by a guy, his name is Yaqub, and he is from Syria. He is an Aramaic person. He wrote it as a fiction for the Christian where discriminated. He said to them, that time will come when we will be victorious. Muhammad, he took the story, he put it in the Quran, the Seven Sleepers. Mm -hmm. But this is a fiction story written by a guy, we know his name, and the book is published all over in the world. And then, uh, look at the wisdom here. 
some they say they are asking Muhammad okay the seven staples how many how many they are <laughs> Even the title of the story is seven sleepers. So how many? Look at this. Allah is talking now. Some they say they were three, and their dog is the fourth. And some they say they are five, and they're four, and their dog is number five, and their dog is number six. Some they say they are six, and their dog is number seven. Say no one knows their number save Allah. I mean, what kind of this? What is that? I mean, what I don't. What is this? Um, how how are we supposed Ali, to understand? Ali, imagine, something like this? imagine. You came to me to ask me how many are they those sleepers? I said to you, well, some they say they are three and their dog is number four, and some they say they are four and their dog is number five, and some they say they are five and the dog number six, and some they say they are they are seven and and, and they are six and the number dog is number seven. However, only Allah knows what is their real number and few. <laughs> So what is the numbers? What is what the point of this? What is the purpose of the first stupid, stupid story? And then not only that, he says, and they slept in the cave for three hundred years and nine. Mm. How come here he is so sure in the number of the years, but there he cannot tell us how many they are. And same time, mm. how you can say they are four and their dog is number uh, they are three and their dog is number four. This is wrong in Arabic and in English in any language. You don't count the dog as number four because dog is not a human. Yes, yes. correct. Yes. Like I can say that uh, I saw three guys and Ali was yes. number four. That is accurate yes. because there are three guys and he's a guy like them. So we, but we cannot say uh, and and uh, and, and uh, like uh, three guys and their dog is number four because this is stupid. He's a dog. The yes. dog is number one between the dogs. We cannot count yes. him as number four. And then the story continue, like you know, uh, uh, the flying carpet of Suleiman. Suleiman, uh, 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 you know, uh, Shaitan. He take his ring and he starts sleeping with his wives, doing boom, boom, boom. And then the wives they notice that Suleiman cannot be Suleiman because he's doing so good in the boom, boom. And Suleiman he cannot do good boom, boom. And then they told the elders. That Suleiman cannot be Suleiman because the boom boom of our normal husband cannot be the same because he's so good in doing it, like he don't stop. You know, I mean, what kind of religion this religion is? Shaitan. Yes, sir, what I mean? Who in the world yeah, accepts that Shaitan is sleeping yeah. with the wives of a prophet? No. And not only that, Shaitan, according to Islam, he take a look of a, of a prophet. He took the look of Suleiman. In, in uh, uh, the for the for the Sunni, they agree that he took the look. Of Jibreel too, so how we can trust God if, if Shaitan can come to us as Jibreel? Shaitan he can take a look of Suleiman, or maybe he would take the look of Muhammad. How I can trust anything? Maybe Muhammad himself is a Shaitan. So what does this all mean? Now that in the cave to Muhammad, maybe the devil came and gave him all the story of Islam. Yeah, there's a Shaitan. His name is Al Abyad. The reason they call him Al Abyad because simply he came as in a white color as Jibreel. But he's not white, so he changed his color, he changed his look. But by accepting this story, that's mean we cannot trust anything Muhammad brought to us because maybe it is all from this Abiyad person. Yeah. Okay, so you would say that it is like Islam is totally basically the devil basically gave it to Muhammad. Because we cannot know if 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 the Muslims agree that Shaitan he gave Muhammad verses and etc. and he came in the look of Jibreel. Then how we can trust that Muhammad he did not receive the whole thing from the same devil you see even in the books of the Sunni <clears throat> yeah. I can show you some source from the Shia too but usually yeah, I mean I, I just show... I'm not only believing in the Shia sources I mean I'm not so strict in that I okay. take hmm. basically uh, Muhammad he said that shaitan he command him to do good mm -hmm. well I mean how much convincing that Muhammad is a prophet Look at this. There's none amongst you with whom is not attached from amongst the jinn, the devil. The companion mm -hmm. said, Allah Messenger, with you too? Whereupon he said, Muhammad, yes, but Allah help me against him and I am safe from his hand. He does not command me, but for good. Mm. How is it possible? Who, how, 
how Muhammad is a prophet of God and the one is commanding him is shaitan Yeah And how shaitan yeah. he command good since when shaitan he command people to do good It's shaitan. He just said the devil yeah. This is the good devil <laughs> <laughs> So my friend Ali why you don't say I'm out of Islam the problem um, CCP I I thinking I'm thinking a lot about it because it's about my soul basically you know I, it's not something easy which I could decide but I'm really having my doubts to be honest you know I have my doubts about it but there, I don't know there's still some things which keep me on it I don't know what it is exactly but maybe you only um, have uh, 72 versions actually okay see I would say if it's okay if you uh, stay on this topic that you just said the 72 versions I mean what is it okay so I'm you say here, in Islam there are 72 I'm, versions what I'm about here, like, what happens uh, as a Christian for example if you die sorry what happens if you die as a as a Christian for example that's a good question um, okay you see here how we know if the person is speaking for God or not God is not a pimp. He will not seduce me and tempt me by sexual activities. All of us, we knew that, you know, sexuality, it can be good, it can be wrong. The bent you mm -hmm. are practicing that with who? God, when he gave us this gift, is for the order of having a family and to reproduce. Not for the joy itself, mm -hmm. which means sex was not the purpose. So Adam and Eve, they complete each other to make a family. However, in Islam, sexuality became the target, not God. When yes. when they ask uh, 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 Jesus, okay, the, the Jews, because they think the same way as Muslims, you know, uh, oh. they ask Jesus, okay, there's a guy, he married a woman, uh, and then he, he, he passed away. Uh, and then his his brother he married her etc. Uh, so he's who's going to have her in the heaven? Jesus said, in the heaven, in his kingdom, there's we will be the same as angels. We will not marry or get married. We will be the same as angels. What does that mean? That mean uh, we will be free from our needs you see happiness is not about eating a falafel the one who made you uh, like or he creates something in your tongue to be able to taste food he can give you better joy correct yes okay but this is not necessity or necessarily to be by eating falafel so do mm -hmm. angels enjoy their life obviously they are angels they are happy so we will be the same as angels, but angels are not eating, they are not drinking, they are not having sex, but yet they are happy creatures. So God will make us free. The first thing will be when you became the same as angel, which means you will not be an angel, but the same as angel, you will be free from your needs. Because sex is a need, food is a need, sleeping is a need. It's all is needs, it's not just uh, like a choice. Some of them is not even a choice. We have to do them. So when you will be the same as an angel, you are free from everything. In other way, God, he made you, he level you up from a human mm -hmm. who is slave of your needs to be a creature who is free of needs. So you live with God with happiness, but not because you need something from him. You are free. You do not need to eat. Yeah. You do not need to drink. Still, you are happy, and your happiness cannot be described. So, Jesus, he described that for us, and it is way higher than somebody describing for me heaven as women created just for sex, to be sex uh, a game, and uh, eating uh, fruits, and drinking wine, and 80,000 little boys serving me. It's a child abuse. It's a women abuse. It's disrespect for our nature as a human. Yes, I've heard you talking about yeah, this topic before, and I really find it disgusting how it is described the paradise. So, Ali, why you don't leave Islam, my friend? Why you don't say today I am out of this cult? Yeah, I think I think I am out. Hallelujah.
here we go our friend Ali he called us as a Muslim and now he is not a Muslim no more Ali you just made a decision and this is a very important decision you don't want to be Muslim no more and you just denounce Islam you refuse it so mm -hmm. why you don't accept Jesus have you ever heard of a name better than his name have you ever heard of a teaching better than his teaching I, it's very good what I heard up to now about the our Jesus and the life of Jesus. But I, for example, um, I have a question also about it because, for example, um, the, there is no book like in Islam, right? The four Gospels are not like just one book like in Quran, right? No, it doesn't matter. Four books is four witnesses. It's, it's still it's the same one, one book. You see, uh, when we say four books, we are not talking about four messages we are talking about the same thing it's just for writers for witnesses and actually in islam muhammad he changed the law from one witness to four witness for adultery correct mm -hmm. okay so if adultery in islam need four witnesses isn't it better to have it four witnesses for god from one yes for sure it is. four witnesses they confirm all of them the same thing that will make yeah. it more accurate and will confirm that it's not just one person. Maybe he made a mistake. Maybe there's something wrong there. Four witnesses, all of them, they are delivering the same message. So that is yeah. is, is better for us as a Christian, not for our bad. It's for our good. Okay. But see, for example, um, when I was like truly believing in Islam and with, um, before I started doubting it, I tried to obviously read about Christianity and there was always the concept of the Trinity, right? But I mean, if the Trinity is right, I mean, why is it then not so easy to understand? I mean, is there a reason why no, it's no, difficult actually, to you understand? See, first of all, God is a miracle. God himself is a miracle. Do you know what miracle means? Yes, kind of, yes. What is miracle? Miracle is something which is unnatural, basically, but... Um, miracle I don't know, is something we I know what a miracle not, is, but I don't know. No, miracle is something we cannot understand how it yeah, happened, yes. right? Okay. Yes. Okay, God is a miracle. So in order, when you say, I, I cannot, we cannot comprehend how mm -hmm. his glory. However, the Trinity is very easy. If you look around you, you see, everything is created around us, have, a, have the fingerprint or signature of God. Mm -hmm. As an example, what do you, the Quran says that everything, every living thing is uh, from water. Correct? Yes. Okay. What well, mm -hmm. water is H two O? Yes. Okay. Three. Okay. Well, why the water is a? Uh, 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 if you go the uh, the golden ratio, it is one to two, three. And why? Golden ratio is a, we are talking about science now. We are talking about uh, yes. you know, this is just the, the the ratio of a beauty sig signature of God. All the trees in the world, all beautiful things in the world exist by based on the golden ratio, because there's one artist, one creator. Trinity is very simple. You know, uh, I'm I'm going to do I don't know like uh, maybe I need to do some drawing. But if we look at the sun in the sky, we have yeah. a star, right? Mm -hmm. It's called the sun, and the reason we yes. call it the sun, uh, I mean, we could say we have sunny day, we have a, a rainy day. So sunny day I mean we see the sun. So it is something we see. It yes. is a star, but there is a light coming from the sun which make us see the star, correct? Yes. Otherwise, the star will not be seen if there's no light. Yes. Of and course. then there is a heat come from the sun, but we don't feel the heat. I mean, we don't see the heat. We feel it. Mm -hmm. Correct? Yes, correct. They are three, but all of them, they are the sun. The sun has a star. The sun has light. The sun has mm -hmm. heat. Still the sun. Okay. The sun as a star is there up in heaven. The light is here in my room. Mm -hmm. In the same time, it is there because it's coming from the same source, which is the sun. In the same time, there's something, it's called heat. We don't see, we feel. This is what is the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the Spirit of God accompany us down in earth. We don't see, but we can feel when we believe. The light is the Word of God. That is Jesus. He is the visible image of the invisible God. 
God in mm -hmm. heaven because his glory is so amazing you cannot see him otherwise you will go you would you would die actually if you stare at the little tiny Sun which is tiny compared to compared to what is God blind. is you will go blind if you look mm -hmm. at the Sun for two minutes you will go blind so imagine mm -hmm. if God himself we are looking at so Trinity is very simple God he he, he came to us in a visible image which is the image of the Messiah mm -hmm. so the Messiah is nothing but the image or the, the, the visible image of the invisible God now we believe in the same time that we have one God but mm -hmm. can is it possible that God can be three three persons in the same time well God if he is God then why we call him God if he cannot be yes of course you know we, we call somebody Almighty because he's Almighty that's mm -hmm. mean there's no limit for what he can do or what he is so if there is if he is what he is this is what he, he introduced himself to us this is what he is if, if there is a guy he is from India he's a Hindu let us say he said I have 1,000 God and then we discover that yes there's 1,000 God that will not change the fact that yes there is 1,000 God it's not about the numbers mm -hmm. right yes it is about the fact so either we accept it that this is the fact or we refuse it this is how God he present himself to us that this is I am I am one yet I am a three person or we say I'm not going to believe in that however everything the Messiah he came with the proof to us that this is true you know we as a Christian we you know we feel the help the Holy Spirit and we saw the power of the Holy Spirit and we saw the power of Jesus and always the Holy Spirit is with Jesus said I will leave you and every two mention my name I will be between them which means I will be the third how he can be mm -hmm. with, you know between us by his invisible image well, what does that yes. mean we have we have God we have the Holy Spirit we have this we have the man which is supposed to Jesus so the Holy Spirit is with us always so he said I will go and I will leave with you the comforter and the comforter is the spirit so God has a spirit in Christianity God is a spirit in Christianity mm -hmm. God is capable of in Christianity in Islam no the Muslim they say to you God don't have a spirit yes. yet he is a physical being but this is crazy because and now the Shia actually is more horrible because the Shia they say he is not a physical being but he don't have a spirit so what he is nothing what is yes. that you know true He's not a physical being he is not a spirit so Trinity is a very very simple way to understand God is is you know to 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 see the nature around us we will we will find that the Trinity itself is what make us live you yourself you know like uh, uh, two days ago we were talking about uh, Muhammad phobia with the cross and uh, mm -hmm. things uh, but if you think you you yourself is a cross <laughs> mm -hmm. even without opening your hands by the way you know what I mean yeah, yeah even true. without opening your hands you are a cross and that will yeah. make you uh, uh, you know I mean so we can find evidence of things around us if we just observe carefully and we don't just take what people say to us I don't want you to take what I'm saying to you I want you mm -hmm. to think about it which means don't make decision because a Christian Prince he said things no you make decision yeah. because you think about it mm -hmm. and you agree with it and then you say okay this is right or this is wrong yeah. No, I mean, when I was a Muslim, I was super convinced of this. I mean, I was very strong in my belief and about everything what the people told me about Islam and what I read about it. And I listened to many Shia scholars and stuff. But since I started reading just about Muhammad himself, I started realizing there's something wrong. That's why my doubts actually started because how can he marry a good girl which was only six years of age? And just many, many horrible other things. And just if you compare Muhammad to Jesus, you can already see that between them there's a world difference so we cannot compare but I was just comparing yeah. between Muhammad and Jesus is an insult to Jesus uh, yes. you see we, we have we have the holiness and we have the madness we have while Jesus was forgiving his enemies in the cross Muhammad was putting nails in their eyes and torturing them and Muhammad I mean name one thing Muhammad ugly did not do no. not even not even one thing he did not do I mean is not ugly like look and just, just to show you how Muslims they act this guy his name is Muslim proper he's saying uh, Chris CP I am across right now you see they are making fun I am across mm -hmm. yes you, your shape in the shape of a cross you're being mm -hmm. a, you are being silly 
He's making fun, but this is true. You are in the shape of a cross. Yeah. Actually, everything around you in this life is if you if you <laughs> uh, you know if you if you put a, a, a like a glass in the front of the sun, you will see the light will come to you as a cross too. Anything, mm -hmm. anything around you is crucifixion. And the crucifixion, the funny, they are making fun of the crucifixion. But Allah Himself, He chose to punish people with the cross. Yeah. And I mean, what was this story that the Muslims always keep saying, which is written in the Quran, that Allah made someone look like Jesus to die on the cross? I mean, wouldn't then Allah be the person who made the Christians even like He deceived exist? them. Exactly. He deceived them. He's a liar. He's a deceiver. And that's why my book is called The Deception of Allah, because Allah is the biggest deceiver. It's what He say in the Quran. They they deceive and he deceive and he's the best of deceivers. So Allah he put someone look like Jesus in the cross in order to save Isa. But look, look how the Muslims they get their prophet busted. Jesus in the cross was saved. Muhammad dying was not saved. Yeah. Why? Why Allah he saved Jesus? He don't want to save Muhammad. And he died like his aorta was cut or something. He right. felt it like so that how way. how somebody okay the Muslim they say that the most beloved person to Allah is Muhammad. So Allah mm. saved Jesus, who is not the most beloved person to Allah, and he did not save the poor Muhammad for three four years suffering from this pain. He 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 vomit everything he eat, and Allah did not send. Uh, a clown to eat the goat instead of him? Yeah. No, Islam doesn't make sense. And what is this concept of the Mahdi, you know, which comes for the Shia? I mean, there's Mahdi, an Antichrist just another, and the Mahdi coming. Another I mean, Shia, this. another Shia fiction, you know. And Mahdi is a the Mahdi is a the, the uh, a person who was exist and the Caliphate he killed him obviously overnight. And those people, mm -hmm. poor people, they told him so they would not make revolution. They told him he's gone. He will be back. <laughs> like like yeah. al-Qazafi he killed a Shia uh, a scholar you know he went to Libya <laughs> yeah. al-Qazafi he denied that he met him <laughs> so the caliphate he killed this guy and they, they, they spread rumors you know like uh, the same as the, the the British intelligence they they made the, the guy Ahmad Mirza Ghulam mm -hmm. uh, the Messiah you know mm -hmm. the, 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 the British intelligence when they were in India, the Muslim they start fighting against them, and then the as usual, this uh, this uh, you know big organization empire, they want soldiers to fight against those who they are fighting them from the Muslims. So what they did, they created Ahmad Mirza Ghulam. Ahmad Mirza Ghulam suddenly became the Messiah, sponsored by the British intelligence, and many start believing. And the first thing Ahmad Mirza Ghulam he said to them, join the British army. Yeah. The same as the Shia in, in many countries in the in the in the, in the Middle East. Yeah. The Shia, they have many prophets cre created, or let's say uh, holy men created by the French intelligence. The French they wanted people to fight with them or to be their soldiers. So they went to the poor Alawi, poor Shia, and they, they chose their agent. And then the guy, he go and he put a lamp on his body. At that time, electricity was not known. He put a lamp in his body and here we go. The lamp is lighting and they bow down for him. And then after that, the guy, he says, if you want to serve Allah, you join the French army. And mm. That's it. So, so always religion is used for a purpose of agenda or propaganda. And Muhammad is no different. Muhammad, in the beginning, like... A few days ago, I was uh, reading an article written by Muslims, and the article saying that the Sabian are sh stars worshippers. Mm. Okay, so how Muhammad says in the Quran that Sabians will go to heaven? Mm -hmm. He said that word. Yeah. yeah, because he's a hypocrite. He's the same mm. as the French intelligence. When he mm. when they want, you are their friend, and they will make you God or a prophet. Just to make a bunch of fo fools to follow you, Muhammad mm. is the same as those. When he want the Christian, the Jews, they will go to heaven. Even the Sabians who worship stars, they will go to heaven. 
That's why the Muslims are not uh, like they don't know what to believe now. Some of them say yeah. Christians go to heaven, some of them say no. Like everyone is saying something different. Yeah, Ali, just give me a second. I, I have a, I have a delivery in my door. Give me a second, please. Yes, yes. of course. That's that's horrible. Well, that's actually shocking. All right, guys, do you do you hear me? I think people in the in the chat they did not hear me for for a little bit of time. Uh, am I heard, guys? I hope they hear me now. Yeah. Uh, uh, anyway, uh, Ali, I think I think you as a person, you have to make uh, a decision, and the decision is very uh, simple. Mm -hmm. Either you know, uh, either you say you, you already you decide to leave Islam. Yes, I did. Okay. Um, now I'm even more sure about it. Yeah. Well, so as long as you decide to leave Islam, and I cannot really, I mean, I cannot say to you more than I would love to invite you to accept the Messiah as your Savior. There's no better than Him. No better teaching. Love your enemy. Be merciful to them. And His miracles speak of Him. He did not. A, he's not a person who made speeches. He is a person who did things nobody can do. So, mm -hmm. if if the name of the Messiah alone is not enough, his work is enough. What the Messiah said: "From their fruits you shall know them." And I will practice that on the Messiah himself. From his fruit you shall know him. The fruit of the Messiah is beyond beautiful, beyond powerful, beyond amazing. So why we will not accept him? Yes, all right. But um, what 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 actually is necessary to be a Christian? Like you just have to believe in Jesus and follow what he did. The first thing is to believe, and then the believe. Hello, you hear me? Hello. Yes, I hear you now. Yes. Yeah. You see, what the Bible says, uh, faith. Without fruits is a dead faith, but it's mm -hmm. not your fruits will save you. It's your faith But because you have faith in the Messiah Then your life will change and you will have a fruit different from the fruit as a person who is a Muslim So to be saved is to have faith and if you are truly faithful Then you will give a fruit. You know, what I mean Yes, it's like there's a tree and this tree says, okay, I am a good tree, but this tree does not give a fruit. Well, obviously, there's something wrong with this tree because this tree is made to give a fruit. It's a fruity tree. So the second you became a believer and you are a true believer, not fake and 
then you will have a fruit and you will be known mm -hmm. by the Messiah by your fruits not by your name my name is a Christian prince but who said I'm a Christian maybe I'm not yes right the fruit will judge so the Messiah he will know you by your fruits and how the fruit happen mm -hmm. if you have a true faith so having a true faith will lead you to the good fruits to do so you have mm -hmm. the true faith in the Messiah you believe in him and don't worry he will guide you and even if I, for example, can't say it with my tongue in front of people, it's not a problem, right? Like, I mean, it will be very hard in the beginning to, to how to say it, to we, we announce this. I understand. But we as a Christian, we have to be truthful and we we don't practice taqiyya. Yes. You yes. know what I mean? I know. So um, you do not need to go on the street and say, I'm a Christian and I don't, don't be crazy. But uh, you should not deny your faith if you have faith. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you will be a liar. Okay, yes, you're right. and the Messiah, he don't accept such a thing. The one who deny me, I deny him. So, I, uh, me myself, I will never deny him. Mm -hmm. you know? No, you're right. If, if he is, I, you shouldn't deny the truth. Yeah. So, uh, uh, be smart. The, the Messiah, he said, be smart. You know, and be peaceful in the same time. So, be wise and be smart and be peaceful. So, being a smart does not mean being a liar. Like the Muslim practice in Taqiyya. So mm -hmm. if something will bring you a problem, try to avoid maybe not to mention it, but you cannot deny the mm -hmm. Messiah. Yeah. Yes, you're right. Yeah. So what do you think, Ali? Do you like to, to, to accept the Messiah as your personal savior? Mm. I accept. I mean to that. Hallelujah. We have our friend now he became our brother Ali he called me as a Muslim and now he is accepting the Messiah as a savior so my friend Ali I want you to pray with me please pray and make it from your heart say my Lord the Messiah I give myself to you I need your help I need your guidance I want you to guide me to direct me I want you to be my Lord from all my heart I want you to be the light of my life I don't want to be alone ever again be my Lord you said knock at my door and I will open for you and today I did knock at your door Ali my friend I am happy for you the Bible said thank you very much the Bible said there's a happiness in the kingdom of God for one soul is saved and this is what we have now in the kingdom of God our father he accepts you and I assure you that and by his name I pray for your protection for your life for your family even your Muslim family we pray for them to be good happy and living in peace not only you and we pray for all the Muslims anything you want to say Ali the mic is yours um, I just want to say um, just my last words to you CP because um, without you um, all this wouldn't be possible I'm watching your videos for many months and without you it wouldn't be possible that I accept Christ today so um, I just want to say thank you very much and I hope I can talk to you soon again you will thank you and Ali if you want you can bring your family if they want to talk to me even in private I have no problem okay if thank you very much. I will try like talk, because there's many people they like you know I talk to them in private because they are shy yeah. or you know there's danger or whatever you know so yeah. even if your family want to talk to me in the private you can call me but just tell me in like uh, so I can set a time and I will be happy yeah. to speak to your family okay thank you very much if you really I, I, I try to pray as a Christian for you thank you very much thank you my friend and may the Lord bless you and I ask all the all the Christians who they are listening to pray to our brother Ali to have a to have a, a, a good life and to have a good relationship with the Lord and he will never deny him by any way, by any means. Thank you, Ali, and take care. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye. Bye. As you see, the Lord, he do amazing things. And it's not me who help you. You help yourself, and the Lord, he help you. I'm just a person sharing some knowledge, little tiny knowledge with you. I am no one. It is you, myself, you, yourself, who help yourself.
every one of us who suffer from a problem sometime we complain about something sometime we are bothered by something but we don't want to uh, you know we don't want to do something to change it and you know being born of a family have a certain belief you should always accept a belief not in heritage which mean even if you if you are born as a Christian and you are not really thinking to be Christian why you want to be Christian by name even for the Lord you are not accepted Christianity does not care for numbers we don't do what the Muslim do they say we are point four whatever billion if we count the Christians we are more than three billion but this is not a true number because there is many are fake names this is why the Messiah says not everyone says to me Lord Lord will enter the kingdom of my father but the one who do his will so Christ is not the same as Muhammad not the same as Allah he don't care for Shahada he don't care for you to make a witness he care for you to be truthful and this is how we know the true God from the fraud the fraud is a fraud just say Shahada and you are welcome how are you Abbas hello yes Abbas how are you yeah peace be to you I'm very well I'm better now Abbas you just said to I me peace be well. to you yes sorry, I'm better now yeah okay. thanks for asking okay yeah well, just, just listening to you for a while yeah, but you just said to me something today. strange your, your, your Abbas, shop Abbas. is very busy man today Abbas just and wait <laughs> Abbas just wait just wait you just what? said to me peace to you yes peace to you brother okay but isn't it your prophet he forbid you to say peace to me did he uh huh you do not know Abbas okay. are you going to practice the no, now? No. you are my brother from Adam we have the same so father. how you explain to me your prophet he forbid you from uh, saying peace to the Christians and the Jews mm -hmm. what, 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 do you, what do you say did, didn't he say wa alaykum when they say alaykum to him when I should no, say why so don't, say that? He don't, said, don't, don't don't and and to you my friend let me show you the hate in the yeah. screen and you read it. You, you you call me you call me your friend my your friend I am a Christian I can call did, you even my brother but you cannot call me did, that. Didn't, didn't your God of the Bible told David to kill everybody who doesn't believe well, slaughter everybody well, it's well, the same God okay, okay, hold on hold on hold on who, who is the one who told David that uh, when David go and kill God blessed him hmm. and he go he kill everybody he on killed, the mountain hills he on the who? plains he, he destroyed the nations okay, hold on, hold on. and he he destroy their see, worship places see, okay. and he bring a lot of treasure wait, wait a minute let me let me let me hmm. make my point hmm. he bring a lot of treasure silver gold and everything for God hmm. and God has blessed him hmm. and remember don't forget hmm. David was of of the heart of God that was all the heart of God was doing it David, what was a beautiful what? Heart. David was what stealing things killing people David was what first of all David, David was David, David was a man you see, you see God's Abbas. own heart Abbas, this is part, God's heart this is, a, not this, very is part, clean, not this is holy this is part of the fraud of Islam when David um, decided to build a temple for God God said to David your money and your temple is not accepted for you are a criminal and your hands is full of a blood so you are a liar Abbas okay. secondly so God, God's heart oh, is the criminal. Medicine. Ooh, because the hadith, David was uh, the hadith, God's own heart. Hadith, Don't forget the hadith that. is in the front of you. Read it. Uh, hang on a minute. Well, okay, we're going to come back to David. Yeah, we'll Don't come forget. to anywhere you want. No problem. Yeah, yeah. What is that? Abu Hurairah <laughs> reported that the Prophet ﷺ may bless him and grant him peace. Said, "Do not give the people of the book the greeting first. Force them to the narrowest part of the road." Yeah. Well, they, they. I'm sure there's a context to it. Because the people the of the book at that particular time might okay. be very horrible give me the people, context. Give me and the context. all the orders were given about them. It's, so it's, it's, okay, it's okay, hold on. Okay, okay hold on. Give me context. the context of it. Give me the context. Go ahead. We have to read uh, the proper book of the Hadith where there's a Siyak of Sabah. Read it. Because uh, we are told, remember, uh, we, uh, we have a we argue about that before. Remember in Islam, chapter mm. 5, verse 5 uh, tells you mm. that you can marry a Jewish and a, and a Christian woman. Mm. So, you telling me, Christian or Jew, I marry with a Christian or a Jew, mm. and I'm not allowed to give her peace? 
Mm. She, because she's a Christian Jew, I'm not allowed to give her a piece. That's okay. what he's saying. Is that how your logic works? Okay. Oh, hold on. See how twisted your logic is. You see how twisted your twisted prophet your common logic. sense. So, uh, so you are saying to me now, everybody heard you, that this is a twisted logic that you cannot say peace to the Christians, but you can have sex with their women. No, 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 no. You need to understand something in the, in the, as a bigger picture, not just pick and choose from. You are the one who said that to me. A, it's not me who said that. Picture, what Islam it is, is, it is not Islam me. You. It is not Islam me who you. said you that. It is you, Come Abdul. On. It is not me who said this is twisted logic. It's you. Who is the one who used the word twisted? Uh, I. Okay. Because you are the one who's twisted. Why, why you, you say that? Because, because, because this you said, how we cannot say salamu alaikum, but yet we can sleep with your women. Correct? But that's why I said, when mm. even if you can have a marry, uh, marriage, uh, marry with a Jewish and Christian, okay. that means you can have, you love them, read for me you this them chapter. peace, you protect them. Read for me this chapter. Read for me. this hadith says read. that, that means this hadith has okay. a context. Let us, let us and maybe at that particular time, okay. those people of the book were a very horrible people. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So hold then hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold don't say that. No, 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 no. So it's probably, uh, let, let me get you busted. Let me get you busted. Read for me the verse in front of you. Right. Oh, chapter and verse chapter 2 verse 2 to 1 right and do not marry unbelieving women uh, until uh, we talked about that before uh, we talked about this is not talking about uh, Jews and Christians Jews and Christians are, are you sure as uh, Ahle Kitab. are you this sure is are you this sure? is talking about Mushrikun. are you sure yes okay. oh I'm damn sure if I show I you that you are you, yeah, if yeah, I show yeah, you yeah, that yeah. you are lying are you going to apologize you have one to choose one of two either you say I'm lying or I you say I was ignorant trying to play smart. Which which one you choose? I'm gonna say you are wrong. Okay. And you will be wrong. Which I'll which interpretation you like me to show you? Third option, Trinity. <laughs> which interpretation you like me to show you? I interpretation. Why going to interpretation? Is not the verse is not clear enough for you? Yeah. So why you must have interpretation if the verse is clear? <laughs> so you you saying all the interpretations are correct? I can't laugh like Bart Simpson. I'm I saying guess. all of you Muslims are, a, are, are, are hypocrite and you try always to manipulate the words. So the interpretation is accurate when you want, you don't, when you want, you don't want it. So now, based in who, who is the one who told you that the Mushrikeen is not the Christians? Uh, show me in the Quran where Allah mentioned uh, Le Kitab as Mushrikun. Mm -hmm. okay. And I'll show you first All right. where Allah say in the same words mm. the, uh, distinguish say Le Kitab and Mushrikun in the same words. I'll show you that. Okay, so if I show you that the Christians are Mushrikeen in the, in the Quran, what you will no, do? No, 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 Christian are Mushrikeen. This is you show me the Christians are addressed as Mushrikun. Sure, the Christians all over the Quran. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 they are addressed as not Ahli Kitab, not Nasara, not Yehud, but uh, addressed as Mushrikun. Okay, here we go. Read, yeah, with me, read with me. Chapter 5, verse number 17, what it says. Chapter 5, verse number 17, yeah, hmm. what it says. Is the Christian Mushrikin or not? In the Quran, did, did you hear me? What I said, I just heard you. Yeah. They, they are addressed as all oh, you mushrikun, all oh, mm. mushrikun. Okay, you want, addressed, you want the word mushrikun exactly? No, they are addressed, they are addressed as Nasara and Nasara. Yes, they are in mushrikun, but mushrikun, for example, in the army, they are they are all soldiers, but they have different. You see, different you titles. see, okay, read, so read, read this verse for me. Read, read, read this verse for me. Let, let us love people another are, verse, another verse. Mushrikun. Let us love together, another verse. Okay, just for the sake of fun. Hmm? Yeah. When mm. when when the Quran says that the Christians are mushrikeen, and the Quran says in the other verse that don't marry from the mushrikeen. So you mm. are saying to me the Christians are not mushrikeen or they are mushrikeen? Or what happened? The Christians are addressed as Nasara. Uh, don't be stupid, don't and, be stupid. Nasara is a name. Nasara is a name. Mushrikeen is situation. Is them associating someone with God. Stop being stupid. So did the Quran call the Christian Mushrikeen? Yes or no? Quran did not address them as O oh, Mushrikun. Quran always say oh, Nasara. He did address them. You are a liar. Chapter 5, verse number 72. Yeah. Go the verse in the front of you. 
What's the translation on, man? I'm not an Arab. Why? You're not an Arab? Mm. Okay. Uh, what what the translation? Not. What yeah. the translation you Something want, uh, Abbas? What the translation you want? What is the best translator for you? Is your tafsir is on? You are Pakistan, yeah. right? You are from Pakistan, Abbas. You are from Pakistan, right? So yeah. I should give you a Pakistani no, translation. No, no, oh, Pakistan. It's hold Pakistan. Pa, pa, pa. Uh, Pakistan, but uh, let me tell you no, something. No, I have a bad no, news no. for you. Your prophet will say it Pakistan too, because in Arabic we don't have pa. Have, have you spoken to him? <laughs> well, in Arabic we don't have pa. It's we have ba. So like read, 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 read with me. Read with me. Read with me. Is the Christians mushrikeen? Yes or no? Certainly disbelieve who say Allah is the what Messiah. The the son of Mary. What the world what the believe? Messiah has said, O oh, children of Israel. Worship Allah, my Lord, and your Lord. Subhanallah. This is what the real Messiah was. Okay. O oh, children of Allah, worship, uh, children of Israel, worship Allah, my Lord, and your Lord. Mm. Indeed, he who associates others with Allah, Allah has forbidden him paradise, and his refuge is in the fire, and they are not for the wrongdoers and helpers. The world says, mm. the says, So did the Christian, are, did the uh, Christian, oh, yeah, did the Christian the commit shirk or not? Right? Did the Christian, according to this verse, commit shirk or not? I told you, yes, they the community the okay. the the other verse says the other verse says don't marry the other verse says the other the other verse says don't marry from the mushrikeen. How you so how you marry Christians? Okay, okay, I'm looking for the verse where Allah distinguishedly <laughs> said the mushrik uh, the sara, um, um now listen, let, let us go back to the business. Abdul, listen. So you so said to me, to okay, business, man. let us go, let us go with you. Let us go with your lie, Abbas. Let us go with your lie. You are like a kid who play with his nose looking for boogers. Listen to this. You said that the prophet said, don't associate, don't say a piece to the Christians and those they were bad Christians. Can you name one for me who was a bad Christian in the time of Muhammad? Bad Christian in the time of Muhammad? Mm -hmm. Just bad, one bad. I guess uh, those people who um, uh, came to debate him in Medina. But those are bishops. Uh, they did nothing to him. They came to debate him. You just said they came to debate him. They are not bad. So you are saying your prophet, he said to the monks, he said to the Muslims, don't agree the monk. And if you see them, force them to walk in the sewage. Who said they were all monks? Who are you talking about? Well, the one who just said to me, the other one who came to debate him, the one who came to debate him, supposedly they are monks. The whole, the whole tribe came. The Holy Tribe came, guys. The Holy Tribe came. <laughs> yes. The, okay, the, what the, interpretation? The okay, what interpretation you are reading from? Uh, listen, listen, Abdul. What interpretation you are reading from? I have read the Sira. Um, two Siras I read. In the two Siras, okay, is the people come from? I think. Uh, All right. Okay. What those people did? Did they throw rocks at your prophet? They, what they did? They came. They were leader. Even they were two brothers. What they did? And what they did? What they did? Back. One of them came back. He he decided to become a Muslim. Okay, and, and so what? So did they, did they do any harm to your prophet? Well, they were arrogant, and arrogance is. So if you are okay, you are saying to me, okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Just to show you how stupid Abbas is, he just said, if you are arrogant, you don't accept Islam. The Muslim, they've been asked to not to say peace to you, and they are forced. Even they will force you to walk in the sewage. Well, I am arrogant. Why you say peace to me? According to your uh, logic, according to your logic, I am arrogant like them even more. So why you say peace to me? Because you are a fraud. Because you are a hypocrite. You just get yourself busted. You say because they are arrogant. The prophet says, don't say peace to them and force them, which means do violence to them. And now you are saying to me, peace. That's because you are a fraud, Abbas. Can I answer? No, you cannot. You are a fraud. Oh. Come on, give me. Give Will me you just down, say please. that? Everybody yeah, heard yeah. you. Everybody heard you because they are arrogant. So just because they are arrogant, they will not accept Islam according to your logic. We cannot say peace to them. So why you say peace to me? So why you say peace to me? Why you say peace to me? I also why I say peace to you. Mm, why? Can I? Yeah, because, because, you're you're because you are 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 you Thank you very much. So that's very nice of you. So uh -huh. I return the favor to you and I said peace to you. There you go. But you uh, said peace to me. Oh, hold on, hold on. So because I say to you, I hope you will get well. That's mean you will be hypocrite and you say something to me you don't believe in. You say peace to me. When you're a prophet, he forbid you from saying that. Well, I mean it when I said a peace just to Just shut you. up and don't call me again. You are just a kid.
those people they did nothing to Muhammad and you admit it so why he is saying force them to the narrow road imagine I'm walking a road and then a bunch of uh, Muslims walking in front of me and then I start throwing rocks at them or I force them to jump in the sewage why because they don't believe in Jesus liar you have no shame if we go right now to Ibn Kathir we will find Ibn Kathir explaining the story for us. Hold on, we have Muhammad Qasim here. Hold on, Muhammad Qasim wants to say something to me. I don't know. He's, he's going to teach me something. <laughs> Muhammad Qasim is using the internet of the neighbors. It's not working. No. Uh, peace in English is the word salam. The name of Allah, so you can say peace, but you cannot say salam. Look at this stupid idiot! Look, look at this guy! Look at this! Look at the madness and stupidity! Peace in English is salam, the name of Allah. So you can say peace, but you cannot say salam. So he said to me, Peace in English, but he cannot say salam to me in Arabic. I mean, do you see the logic? You stupid idiot! The word peace means peace, doesn't matter what it's what, what, if in Arabic or not. <laughs> And how Salam is the name of Allah? The word Salam is exists before Islam, and it's not Arabic. It is Shalom. Stupidity, hypocrisy. Oh, I can say to you peace in English. I cannot say to you Salam in Arabic, brother. Do you see the hypocrisy? Hypocrite. The third column religion. This is the third column religion. Yeah, I know, Lisa. You used to be a Mother Teresa. I believe you. I used to be the Pope, too. Hmm. Do we have any Muslim want to say something smart? Until now, we did not get one smart Muslim to say something to us. All of them, they fail. Look at this prophet. While Jesus was saying, pray for them who curse you. Muhammad was saying, if you see Christian in the street, in the street, spit on them, humiliate them. Do you see the difference? Do you see the fraud? Do you see the evil Muhammad? And why you don't practice that in the, in the street in America, my friend? How come you Muslims don't practice that in America? Practice it, try. Just a try. <laughs> Muhammad, when he was weak, he was a potato. After he became strong, he want to slaughter everybody. Yeah, harass them, you know, spit in their face. Yeah, yeah, uh -huh. yeah, yeah. A very, very wonderful guy. Amazing guy. And they say to you, the prophet was an amazing person. He teach peace and love. He was a, man, a mercy for mankind. You see the mercy of mankind? You see a person in the street, you do not know him just because he is not from your religion. You spit in his face and you humiliate him and you force him to change his way. So Abbas is driving in the highway, going to, from London to uh, Manchester, and then a Christian face him and he want to practice Islam on him. So Abbas, he will stop his car. He stop, you idiot, go back from where you came from. I will not let you go from here. Go to different uh, different route. That is Islam. And the hypocrite, he says to me, peace. Abu is calling again. How are you, Abu? Hello. Do you like to cough before you start? No, I think I'm done with coughing now. Okay, what do you think about what we are saying now? So what 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 were we talking about? Like, um, about your prophet saying, greetings? if you see Christians in the street, you have to hurt them. Um, from what I understand is that um, there's a context to that um, hadith. Hmm. What is the context for that hadith? I think I think it was um, hmm. it, the prophet was going to war with them. So if, if, that's if, what if, if 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 okay what is the tribe what is the Christian tribe the prophet he went with war to 
in the Arabian Peninsula. Can you name one for me? Which one? He says, if you meet them in the street, what war? You meet them in the street. You meet your enemy in war in the street. I mean, have you ever heard of a stupid answer like this before? See, he, he was not. You have war between uh, them, and he is in your he city, in your town, with in your street. All, that's why mm. he was. We say that he was not at war with all the Christians and the Jews. But he said, he was. See, he, he, was said, he said, he said, he said, he said. If you see, he if he said, if you see the people of the book, he didn't say. If you see this guy, he didn't say. If you see Christian prince, he say. If you see the yeah, people of the book, which means the yeah, Jews and the Christians. This, this is actually. Um, Rem this actually reminds me of mm. Pearl Harbor when mm. uh, the Japanese mm. um, attacked the U.S. Mm. See, uh, how did the U.S. respond? By, so you are saying that um, the prophet is an idiot like the American at that time. Now, it, it, it was not idiocy. It, it was, it was uh, precaution. But the, see, the, what but they... Let me, those people did not do anything and look he, he's not but, he's what, not capturing them he is humiliating them listen listen he is saying to them don't say peace which means those people they will say peace to you so you cannot say peace to them so he is the muhammad is the one who is making the situation bad he said don't say peace to them which means they cannot give them peace and now not only that you have to hurt them okay let me just finish what i just said you you interrupted me hmm. um what the U.S. What did was they uh, put all these Japanese Americans mm. in one place. Mm. You know that was that was their strategy. They didn't they they were not at war with those Japanese Americans, mm. but they were you know being cautious. You know mm. just in case you know these Japanese Americans became you know traitors, mm. and that's. Uh, and what uh, who is the one who gave was, Muhammad the right? Uh, actually, less who than is that. the one who you gave Muhammad the right that he, he, he teaching Muslims to hurt us as a Christians just for walking in the street? We are not doing anything. We are just people walking in the street. As you see, there's yeah, no one. Uh, okay. Hmm. No, okay. Okay. Let, let me talk. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Um, see what Muhammad commanded us to do hmm. was less. Um. Uh, was less uh, was not uh, was less bad um, than what the, uh, the 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 Americans did. See, the Americans uh, the Americans put them in a concentration camp, mm. but the Prophet let them live, roam around uh, Medina and Mecca mm. and wherever they wanted. Why he let them? Why he know, let them live? He, he let them live. He let them live if they, if they pay him, right? What they let him live if he if they pay him? Uh, yeah, sure. Mm. So, so your prophet, is a, let is a, them your prophet, your prophet. He don't like the Christians. He hate them, but because they pay him money, he will let them live, right? Yeah, yeah, sure. Mm. So your prophet, uh, anyway, so your prophet is a fraud. He's not a prophet because a prophet, either he is doing that for God. You're not letting me explain. You are explaining you're, already. You're you just said. You just said if you pay, you live. If you don't pay, you die. Did you okay. say that? All right. Okay. So what kind of a prophet? He accept me to worship someone beside God, just because I paid him, because I bribe him. So, so now you're talking about a different topic. No, this is not a different topic. Why, okay, let us say, you, let us say, you know, let us say, let us say, I have, topic, let us say, somebody, topic. let us say, somebody has some garbage in the front of his house, and you are the guy who works for the city to be sure the street is clean. You walk in the front of his house, you see that he has some something wrong, and because he is doing something wrong, you have to give him a ticket. But the guy give you money. That's because he give you money, you say, okay, you can keep it. Practice as you wish. No problem. That is a practice of a fraud. If you're a prophet, was a prophet, he will not accept the Christians to do that because they pay him. Okay, I, I don't see anything wrong with that. So you are saying that the one who take money and let people practice wrong, he is not a fraud. What do you mean practice? Uh I mean, we pay according, taxes. According, too. this is not taxes. Stop being stupid. This is not. This is not taxes. This is not taxes. The Quran says you have to humiliate them, and this is part of it. 
not only you force them to pay, you have to humiliate them when you see them in the road. You have to spit in their face. Uh, that's not true. That's anyway, not true. Uh, okay, no, don't tell me anyway. Are you insisting this is not humiliating true? Humiliating them by, uh, you know, making them pay. This is not a true. You force them to change their direction from the road. You spit in their face. You are not allowed to elevate the Christians. Yes or no? I'm not allowed to what? Elevate, to honor, to respect. Uh, no, that's not right. I mean, we're commanded to do good with them. Mm, where? In the Quran. Mm, in the Quran. Uh -huh. yeah. So what this Muhammad here is saying to us? Like, if you see Christians, force them to walk in the sewage. What is that? Muhammad, as you're saying to me, Muhammad, he broke the command of Allah? Again, again, mm. that hadith mm. is talking about a specific context. Okay, read for me. Chapter 9, verse 29. Well, show it to me. Hmm. You want to cough before you start read or you want to cough later? Uh, I'll cough later. Okay, here we go. Read it. I can't see. Wait, I can't see it. Where? It's in front of you. Abu Hurairah. Mm. I, I don't see it. it it's going to take time. Yeah. So say inshallah. 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 Okay. If you say inshallah, you will see it. Hmm. Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay. Where is it? It's in front of you. Read it. This is chapter 9, verse 29. You're still scrolling. Okay. I, I think you are using the internet of the neighbors. This is why it's so slow. Uh, okay. Fight against those who believe not in Allah, hmm. nor in the last day, nor forbid that which has been forbidden hmm. by Allah and his messenger. Hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. hmm. Does it say you have to, uh, they have to feel themselves subdued and humiliated? And yeah. Okay. So additional to the payment. Paying, addition no additional to the pay, payment. Additional to the payment. Let the me let me get you busted. Okay. Let, let me let me excuse me. Let me get you busted. Is that okay? Can we do that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let us go. Mm -hmm. And see what your scholars they say. Your scholars are not Christian oh, prince, right? Scholars again. Why do you keep going back to scholars? So what I will do? Scholars I will go to who? Are I will not go always back. right. Uh, so the scholars are liars. No, scholars make mistakes. But the scholars are not reporting their own opinion. Here they are reporting for us a story. Here we see Ibn Kathir. He says because of that. The, Again, uh, you're talking about Ibn Kathir. I'm not talking Jam about Ibn Kathir. I'm not talking Jala, about Ibn Jala Kathir. Jala I'm not talking about Ibn Kathir. Read carefully with me. I'll put it in the screen. Here we go. This is what the caliphate they did because of Muhammad order. Paying jizya is a sign of kufr and disgrace. Do you see it in the screen? Now I have to re uh, uh, refresh the, my no YouTube problem. So pay, site. paying jizya is a sign of kufr and disgrace. Until they pay the jizya, if they do not choose to embrace Islam and feel themselves subdued, disgraced, humiliated. Do you see it? Therefore, the Muslims are not allowed to honor the people of the dhimma, which means the Christian and the Jews, or elevate them above the Muslims, or because for they are miserable, disgraced, humiliated, Muslim recorded, that the prophet said don't initiate salam to the jews and the christians and if you meet them in the road force them to the most narrowest alley this is why the leader the faithful Omar al khattab uh, he did demand the well-known condition by met by the christians those conditions to ensure their humu continue humiliation the de degradation de why you are lying to us it's in front of you why you are lying again you are talking about Tafsir. This is not Tafsir. This is what you Muslim did to us. No, it is Tafsir. This it's is the pact of Omar. This is that. the pact of Omar. The pact of Omar. And he's saying to you, Omar, he did that because the Prophet, he insists that we should continue to humiliate them. Yes, by paying the jizya. No, you have to continue humiliation. Additional to the jizya, you have to humiliate them. Look, they have to shave the front of their head. If they want to wear a cross, it have to be many kilograms. 
They cannot ring the bells of their church. A Muslim can sleep in the house of a Christian for three days, for three nights, for free. Read it. See, where do you get that? It's in I mean, the front of that's, you. You can that's search. Stuff this is shut up, you idiot. Where I get those kids from? I mean, it's it's easier to win the lotto before you can win a smart Muslim. Tafsir, what tafsir? This is a book. This is a book talking about the pact of Omar. This is what the Muslim did. And the Muslim, they claim that Omar was the most justice person after the Prophet. We have uh, we have uh, uh, somebody asking me. He want to know who is the one who left Islam. He's a Shia like you, my friend. He's a Shia. He left Islam like you, and uh, you can play the video later and you can listen to him. Do you see how they lie? Lying is is their practice every day. This is a book. This is a history. This is what Omar Khattab he did to the Christians. And now suddenly they don't want Ibn Kathir. And by the way, Ibn Kathir is a fraud, like him, like Muhammad. Not, nothing better. All the tafsir of Ibn Kathir is meant to defend Islam, not to explain Islam. But this is the whole idea. When the Muslims are weak. They deny their history, but if they are strong, they will say yes. We will do it to you now. This is the difference between ISIS and Muslim who is not in control. When he is in control, he is the same as Muhammad. When he is in control, when he is not, he is the same as Muhammad. When he is not in control, when Muhammad is not in control, was nice. He says to the Christians, you go to heaven. Jews, you go to heaven. Sabian, you go to heaven. Everybody go to heaven. But this is when he was weak. After he got strong, he want to kill everybody. That is the truth. Humiliation, disgrace. And read the pact of let me post this link for you so all can see how ugly actually I have this in my book if you have deception of Allah this is the truth which they are trying to hide from you Islam is nothing but a gang Muhammad is nothing but a thief you see if Muhammad is really working for God he will not accept the Christians to worship wrong God by paying him what is the return so we can worship the wrong God and we can pray to the wrong God as long we are paying Muhammad so Muhammad he have no problem with people worshiping someone other than Allah as long they pay him isn't it clear that he is a fraud Hmm. Uh, a, a Muslim saying ISIS is satanic or well, your prophet name for me one thing ISIS did Muhammad did not do look what Muhammad Qasim he said ISIS is satanic okay name for me one thing ISIS did is not Islamic like what <laughs> What a what a what a comedy! Killing people, raping, stealing, forcing jizya, kidnapping, enslaving. They kill innocent people in Islam. Innocent is only Muslims, and not only only Muslims. Muslims who practice Islam. Stop lying, Qasim. 
Your prophet, he is number one who killed innocent people and he raped their women. And as you see, people walking in the street, what they are, they are innocent people. People in the street. If they are in war, they will not walk in your street. People in the street, and yet he is seeking violence against them. That is ISIS. So they try to wash their hands from ISIS, says, oh, ISIS does not present Islam. The fact ISIS are the only true Muslims. And they are the only true one practicing the true Islam. And the rest, they believe that, they knew that ISIS are right, but because they are hypocrites. You see, the Muslim, they play good cop, good cop, bad cop. ISIS, they play the bad cop. <laughs> But both of them they believe in the same thing if two muslims they sit alone they praise isis in the front of a christians and jews atheists they say isis is bad we know the game we knew the game yeah my book will be soon out in in the indonesian language as i said as i promised and it's going to be free for all indonesian just wait for me my friend too many things to do any Abdul all of them they are hypocrites ISIS are hypocrites too you see but ISIS are more let us say more truthful than the rest they say let us say they speak 70% of the true Islam even those ISIS they are hypocrite as an example ISIS they teach their followers that it's okay to dress like a woman in order to do uh, suicide bombing or to put something in your private part inside your you know the back door how you say you are, you are against such an act but you practice it they support taking drugs like Taliban Taliban they claim to be they are people who fight for a God but they are number one producer for drugs in all of Asia same as Hezbollah they are the party of Allah and the number one money they make after Iran is a drugs hashish everybody knows all their farms are drugs they don't grow anything except drugs But they are believers. They are very good believers. Same in Albania. Same in, 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 in Kosovo, the Muslims. All illegal activities. They are, but they are the true believers. Drugs is number one business. All right. Anyway, guys, I think we have enough for today. Do you have a good time? Don't forget, please, to download the video and share it with your friends. Uh, maybe tomorrow I will not do broadcast here. Actually, I was planning to go in my other channel. So I might hear and make an announcement if tomorrow I would do so. And we will choose a topic which have nothing to do with religion for those who like to join us. And uh, my other channel is called The Quality of Life. And let me see if I can share the link with you for those who do not know yet um, if we go here <clears throat> I will post the link for you all right this is the link for those who like to join us subscribe there please And again, this channel have nothing to do with religion. We speak about things maybe is not your interest. Maybe it is your interest. So if you like to join us, we talk about social life. Things is right to do. Things is not right to do. And we share opinion based in our belief as a Christians. So if you like to join, feel free.
uh, no, we are not really about choosing uh, uh, gear, but uh, we spoke about things which is uh, interesting people. Hello? Hello? Okay. Um, uh, what, like, uh, what is the topic of your... Sorry, discussion? sorry, say what you're saying? Uh, what was the topic that you were discussing earlier? Like, um... We, we discussed many things. Uh, the, um, just on we, we discussed many things, including Muhammad is a prophet. Is Muhammad a prophet? Is Muhammad a prophet? Oh, it looks like we lost him. Anyway, guys, this is the other channel. I think we have we have about internet. This is the other channel. You can join there and subscribe. Uh, like we spoke about uh, depression, we spoke about how to be confident. As some people advise us wrongly, what make you confident? They claim that holding a cigarette in your hand will make you confident. So we speak about many things. You know about uh, people who uh, believe in buying uh, 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 like uh, brand. And that is supposedly the best to buy and spend their money. So we speak about many things. And for sure, you can choose the topic you like to join with us. If it's interesting for you, you can be you know, with us. If not, then it's up to you. Uh, I, I will announce here what time is going to be. Uh, and if you like me to speak about a certain topic, please let me know. But don't forget to, or like choosing a life partner, uh, you know, things which is interesting for us as people. Uh, other than, because here we speak only about religion. So I want to give a break for myself and to yourself from speaking about such a madness every day, you know. So we take a break for ourselves. So uh, uh, we give opinion on things which can help us to make a better decision. So if you like me to speak about a certain topic, please leave a comment. And if the topic is... Uh, interesting for the most of us i will be happy to share it with you all right uh you know there is there is many many things in life like you know uh, as an example you know uh, somebody uh, a, a lady she is sad because she is not getting uh, a certain kind of clothing expensive clothing so some people they get depression de depressed because of that you know i say always try to live and learn how to live not how to die when you are a poor person and you spend your day and your life working like a crazy and then you go you spend the money you save which is little to buy a stupid phone or stupid shoes that's mean you are learning how to die not how to live you became a slave of a big rich man who's making taking your money sucking your blood this is what we talk about there so we give advice for people how really to enjoy their life. Life is not about buying a brand new brand shoes. We can buy a new shoes, but good price. And it's even better than the brand. So people are deceived and people, they became like uh, customers. You know, we are customers. We are not living this life no more. We are exist just to buy. And every day companies, they create for us a new occasion. The Mother Day, the Father Day, the Sunday, the Mother-in-Law Day, a Santa Claus Day. I mean, just to buy, not because they believe in those days. And you, because you became a fool, you became a consumer who spend your money for stupidity. So in this channel, in the other channel, we speak about things and I speak as I believe, not as people like me to, you know, uh, to say, you know me, nothing changed. I give advice of things which I believe it's right. You don't have to agree with me. Never agree with me if I'm wrong. Never, you know. But, I mean, what we see around us is really crazy. People, they have different idea of life today. And this is why they are always unhappy. So quality of life is not a quality of gadget. Quality of life is you investing in yourself, changing yourself for better. Invest in yourself first. Invest on the human being. And then you will see a quality of life. 
what is the what is the benefit of a quality of life if you are having the best phone in the market and the best clothes in the in the, in the world yet if you see an old woman crossing the street you make fun of her or you are in the bus you are not willing to stand up and let the women sit down or see a woman she is carrying a baby in, 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 in you know she is going to deliver a baby soon but because you are filthy you are not willing to stand up and let this women sit down so quality of life today is different they are mixing up between quality of living and quality of life so for us we want to learn how to be living a quality of life not the quality of living house and car we need those things all of us including me but I'm not going to be a better person by buying a new phone I like to have a new phone why not but that is not the quality so in that channel we speak about everything will be in touch in our human social life trying to make things better so if you like to subscribe again this is the verse for the free and if you don't like our topic then it's up to you I want to say thank you for for uh, uh, you know for for being here and uh, uh, I think tomorrow I will look at the comments and see what topic we will talk about in the other channel and based on that we will choose the best uh, let us say uh, uh, from your comments we will see what is the most interesting request I receive so if you have a if you have a request to talk about a certain topic go to that channel uh, post uh, a comment uh, as an example you can watch the video about how to be confident I saw a video which is very have a lot of viewers amazingly how sad it is trying to fool you saying if you hold a cigarette like this that's mean you are confident madness madness and stupidity is what leading us today my friend when people they smoke a cigarette that's because they are not confident actually it's the opposite it means there's something missing in your life when you smoke when you take drugs when you do those those things you know it's wrong so how that will make you confident confident about what since when doing wrong will make me confident Why people don't want to use their brain? So I advise you, if you did not go to that channel yet, start with this video here. Let us say, let us agree, if you want to post a comment, post it in this video, because it's a very interesting video. And we will see, I will see later, based in the comment, what topic we will speak about tomorrow. All right, but uh, remember, remember one thing, you know, uh, he, the Messiah, he said, the Sabbath was made for the man, not the man made for the Sabbath, which means even God, who is our creator, he made the Sabbath for us, it's for us. We are not made for the Sabbath. Today, we are made for material. We are not living anymore. We work like crazy just to buy things, things we do not even need. Even people today, they eat, but they, they are not hungry. Just because they are watching a commercial, which is meant to make you go to the fridge and eat their food. This is why people, they get bigger and bigger and bigger, because we don't have control. They are controlling our mind, controlling our stomach, controlling our emotion, controlling our wallet. And this is what happened when you are away from the Lord. Don't let them control you. Never. Never. Thank you guys for being here. May the Lord bless you. And until I see you soon with my other channel, we will take a break from this one maybe for two days. And tomorrow I will be in the other channel or maybe even tonight. I'm not sure. I will make an announcement about it and I will see you soon. With this, I say may the Lord bless you. We are happy for our brother Ali who accepted the Messiah and he became a Christian today. Happy to see you, my friend. 
happy to hear you and the Lord himself is happy to have you as a child of God Christ is Lord Islam is false and see you soon thank you bye bye